live. Okay, it's preparing. We are live on Facebook. Yay! Hello, Facebook. Yay. And now we record onto my computer as well. Here we are. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Mass Media Tribe Meetup for August 19 here in Australia. Coming to you from the Gold Coast, I'm Aldwin Alternay, known as the Media Queen. What I do is I help people get their message to the masses using online and offline media. I've got about 36 years media experience. I've been a photojournalist for a long time, worked in TV, radio and print. I am a stand for truth, good news and animal welfare. And today we have some fantastic people on the live. If you're watching this on Facebook, you're welcome to come and join us on the live on Zoom. We're going to be doing some introductions soon and meeting the people on the live Zoom. And then we're going to be chatting today about overwhelm. I want to chat about overwhelm today and do a segment on that. I think it's something a lot of people can relate to and give some strategies on how we can overcome overwhelm. Okay, so talk about that. And then we've got the amazing Tony Lontis coming up today talking about online radio versus podcasting, which I can't wait to hear. And then we'll have a Q&A and we'll have some giveaways at the end. So the meeting will go for about two hours uh, with the, the Q&A. You do need to be on the Zoom, though, to be able to win prizes that we're going to have at the end uh, and also for the Q&A as well. So if you do want to join us on the Zoom, if you're on Facebook right now, just head into the events section. There's Christiane. Head into the events section on the Mass Media Tribe group or go to uh, Eventbrite and follow Aldwin Alternay and you'll see all our upcoming events. And once you register on Eventbrite, you will be emailed in the order confirmation, the Zoom link to join us. Okay, so register on Eventbrite and then hop into the Zoom link. So I hope that was clear. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now I'll tell you a little bit about what the Mass Media Tribe meetup is about. Now I actually started doing these as physical events in 2018 and the idea was to give people some low cost or basically free, we're free now we're on Zoom but with the physical events we did on the Gold Coast and Brisbane ticket price was around 10 to 15 dollars to attend. We'd have a guest speaker and it'd be a fantastic networking event. Now of course with COVID we're on Zoom and I'm loving doing Zoom. I may just keep it on Zoom uh, and every two weeks we have a different guest speaker that helps people get their message to the masses using the media in some way and uh, what I'm passionate about is getting more truth out there, getting more good news and, and helping to share more kindness and compassion and love in the world. And I think particularly now with COVID, with all the dramas we've been hearing around COVID in the last few months, I think there's been a lot of uh, stress out there. A lot of people are very concerned about the future and about how things are going to be once we come out of this pandemic or some people say plandemic or some people even say scamdemic but whatever you call it I do encourage you to do your own research with what you are hearing in mainstream media and having been a journalist for a long time I can tell you without doubt there are hidden agendas in mainstream media okay and I think what is happening right now is that we have an uprising happening behind the scenes we have people that are seeking truth they are seeking answers. You know, they do not want to be gagged with masks. They do not want to be forced to vaccinate. They do not want to be forced 5G with the 5G towers have been going up over uh, the COVID period, right? There's a lot of people that are actually uh, not happy about what is happening right now. And unless people speak up, nothing is going to shift with the way things are moving forward. So I do believe in the power of the people and I am a stand for that too. And I'm a stand for truth in the media. And in fact, just a few days ago, I was on Ticker TV, uh, which is a brand new TV uh, station that's just started out of Melbourne about a year ago. They've got 12 staff in the Melbourne studios. And I went on there this week and I said exactly that. I said that people are wanting the truth and people are seeking the truth. We have more truth seekers and truth speakers than ever before now. And what we've started to see too is that there's been censorship even with Facebook and YouTube, okay? There's some topics that Facebook and YouTube do not like, such as 5G, such as alternative stories around vaccinations, etc. right? Now, I'm not saying 
one thing is right or one thing isn't. I am saying there's definitely hidden agendas in the media because I've seen it, because I've been actually asked by editors to go out and get angles on stories that aren't there. Okay, so I've seen it from behind the scenes. I have seen certain media outlets push for certain agendas because there's other things at play behind the scenes, right? So all I'm saying is do your own research and don't buy into the drama, okay? Because we can't control the fact that mainstream media is bombarding us right now with all these messages about COVID and about how, you know, crazy the world is going and, and how people need to be careful. And, you know, I mean, this, you know, it's, it's amazing. There's a guy called Jamie McIntyre out there right now. He's put out a million dollar reward for anyone who can come up with independent figures on the number of COVID cases. Okay. So there, there's, you know, this is very interesting. Who has got independent figures on the actual number of COVID cases? Where is this information coming from with all these cases of COVID, right? How do we know it's actually accurate, right? People just believe whatever they hear in the mainstream media often, right? How do we know it's actually accurate? And I know I'm going down a little bit of a rabbit hole here, but it's just something I think that needs to be said right now because people are questioning. And I think it's very important that we question, right? Because if you're not questioning, you're most likely being brainwashed and not realizing that you're being brainwashed right now. Okay, so I encourage you to open your mind to look for some alternate points of view. There are some amazing groups on Facebook and, and alternative media outlets now on uh, the, the World Wide Web, right? There's a lot of, you know, truth and good news outlets out there now that you can actually find some alternative information to what we're seeing on mainstream TV and mainstream radio and mainstream print. Okay, so it's exciting times at the moment, all right? You can't control what we're being fed. You can control how you're going to be about it and what you're going to do about it. You can control how you're going to respond right now. And I think one of the most important things we need to do right now is to focus on building our own immune systems. Okay, focus on your own health, focus on taking time out to exercise, to get out amongst nature, to get some sunshine, get that vitamin D into you, right? These are simple things we can all do where we can build our own immune system so that if there is such a, you know, COVID case that's, that's coming our way, that you can strengthen yourself so that you're not going to catch whatever it is, right? Um, and in fact, there's actually something called the Wim Hof method. I don't know if you've heard about it. There's a guy called Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, and he's a Dutch guy. He's got something called the Wim Hof method, and he talks about the, yeah, a whole lot of different strategies to build your immune system. And one of them is cold water therapy. And, you know, just having two minutes of cold water, cold shower for two minutes or hopping in the ocean for two minutes is, is fantastic to build your immune system, All right? So there's lots we can do. And what he does is he actually has, has, he has put a dare out there that his immune system is so strong, you can inject him with any poison and he will not get sick. And this guy's a trooper and he's, he's soldering on. And so, you know, I do believe there's a lot we can do to empower ourselves at this time. And I am a big advocate for people speaking up, right? For speaking up and speaking their truth, right? I think there's two places we can come from right now. We can either come from fear, which is where the governments and where the mainstream media want you to come. They want people to live in fear. They want to divide and rule. They want people to feel disempowered, right? You can either come from fear or you can come from love. Okay, and this is my little, little love. We can come from love. So I do believe it's important to get educated, to inform yourself, to question things. And of course, there's going to be different opinions out there. And that's okay. Everyone's welcome to have their own opinions. Just be kind to each other in the process. Okay, let's, let's come together and let's unite during this crisis, right? Let's unite and let's build ourselves up so that we can become empowered as a group together. Because there's 99% of us and 1% of those evil ones running the world, right? That want us to live a different way so that's my opinion on that i've said my piece so really the mass media tribe is about helping people get their message out helping helping you share your message and step up and speak up and of course podcasting and online radio is perfect for that right this is this is huge now podcasts online radio it's going through the roof since actually since covid and even the last few years has just gone crazy so it's absolutely perfect now that we have tony with us tonight to share on this topic. So that's really what it's about. We do have a group on Facebook and on Meetup. I encourage you to join Mass Media Tribe. And uh, I'm really grateful for all the amazing speakers we've had at our live events and also online. 
So that's a little bit about Mass Media Tribe. Now, I'd love to hear from the others here on our live Zoom. Welcome, Christian. Love to hear from you. So we're going to go around the room here, and I'd love to hear where you're from, what you do, and what you'd like to get out of tonight, or if you have a specific question for Tony. So who would like to go first? Just unmute yourself. Thank you, Tony. There's a round of applause. Yay, thank you for that, me on my high horse there. I know I went down the rabbit hole. It's okay. I speak my mind and I think it's important that we do. I think it's important we speak up because too many people live in fear. And, you know, I would rather die tomorrow having spoken my truth than live a lifetime of lies. And I think if you're not speaking your truth, you're living a lie in some way, right? Maybe a lie to yourself, right? And maybe you'll just... Can I just you know Sorry, maybe to be on your you deathbed and have regrets and I don't want that for anyone okay so what I want you to do is to actually live a true life to yourself yes Tony <laughs> uh, look I absolutely agree with you that there uh, we may not be getting the truth but my science and nursing medical brain will tell you that there is a virus called COVID and it has varying ability to hurt or not hurt you Yes, your immunity will help protect you, but even the healthiest person is still falling um, very ill, gravely ill to this disease. And it's not about living in fear, but as someone who is immunocompromised um, and I have to be careful with my health, can I say that people wearing masks, washing their hands and social distancing, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It means that I can go out into the community and not worry as much as I used to. And I, my immunity is the best it can possibly be under the circumstances. However, if we all lived in a world where everyone washed their hands, where you didn't go out when you were sick, where you wore a mask if you had a cough or a cold, the world would be a better place. So for me, I hear the conspiracy theory and I actually would like to turn that on its head and say, so what's wrong with wearing a mask to protect other people? I don't think that, I actually think that you have a responsibility along with your right to decide whether or not to wear a mask, you have a responsibility to those people who cannot protect themselves. So agree very much with what Alden was saying, agree very much that people have the right to say and and speak up and absolutely I feel that there is a rising of people but just always consider that if you're a doctor in an emergency ward and someone comes to you and says that COVID is a scam they're likely to knock your lights out and they'd be justified in doing that because they see the realty and Granted, we don't know what the real numbers were. I'm not sure we'll ever know what the real numbers are. But from my medical and nursing perspective, doctors and nurses don't lie to increase figures. The media does, as Alwyn says. The media is more likely to do that. But doctors and nurses are strictly reporting exactly what they're supposed to report. So somewhere in that middle ground are the real numbers and what's happening. And, and yes, our Auburn is just so right. Question what you hear. Don't live with fear. And I don't believe that asking people to wear masks, maintain social distancing is living in fear. I just don't think that that's a fearful thing. I think that's a respect for other human beings. Yeah. And that's Thank me you. getting on my horse now Thank too. You, Katie. Thank you. That's awesome. We've just balanced out the conversation here. That's fantastic. Uh, look, it's, <laughs> no, um, it's, this is really a hot topic right now. There's all sorts of opinions floating around on this and we could have a whole two hours just on this topic. And Absolutely. You know, it's very important that, you know, people do what they feel is right for them. Okay. I, I really do believe you need to do what you think is right for you. And I encourage you to question everything. Question, question, question everything. Agreed. Do your own research. Make up your own mind. Do what in your gut feels right to do as well. And, and as you're listening to this information and consuming it, Listen to yourself, right? Like just, yeah. just step back into your body, listen to yourself, you know, tune in, 
tune in mm -hmm. and you know you do what you think is right for you I, I think a lot of people are very confronted by the lockdown and freedoms that are happening at the moment and there's a lot more suicides yeah. that are happening etc which is very sad at the moment um you know I, I am I'm very passionate about good news helping to spread more good news and lift people's spirits with the news that we put out. And I do Great. believe that can make a massive difference as we're doing our podcasts and our online shows, et cetera, that we also give people some hope and some inspiration, you know, to be able to move forward in an empowered way. Um, Absolutely. And, and, you know, the, the, yeah, it's just very important to, um, to be respectful of other people's opinions. And thank you for sharing that, Tony, because you have just shared what a lot of people are thinking right now. And, and that's, oh, okay. I just, everyone oh, when, to that. The, the, neg the negativity of mainstream media is not good. Like it's, you know, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. And if they were able to um, put a positive spin on what they were saying, then people would be much more at ease and accepting of what's what's going on. Um, yeah. They really have something to answer for, don't they, old one? Yes, absolutely. I do agree. And I, you know, while while people say, oh, if it bleeds, it leads, or you know, bad news sells. You know, I actually believe we're yeah. drawn the positivity I actually you know the biggest selling book of all time actually is what what book yeah. is it who knows who knows what the biggest selling book of all time is um, something about um is it Deepak Chopra's uh oh, I can't remember it you have to tell us all when it's, it's the bible. bible it's the bible over five billion copies sold of the good news bible can you believe that and and so it's interesting, you know, and I'm not preaching any religion here. I'm just saying, isn't it interesting? You know, and if you think about the people around you, generally we're drawn to positive people, aren't we? We're generally repelled by negative people. Unless you're a negative person yeah. and you want to have a pity party with your negative friends, well, that's a that's a different thing, right? But generally speaking, people want, they, they're drawn to the light and they're repelled by yeah. darkness. And so what, what's happening when we hear negative news is our hindbrain kicks in and, and it's it's wanting to be alert of any dangers. Like we are, as human beings, we're, we're conditioned to be alert and to be aware of dangers that may happen. At the same time, I believe it's a conscious choice whether we choose to spread more positive news, consume more positive news. And now with the mass media world, there are so many good news outlets out there that are also standing for positive news. We have the Good News Network. We have Sunny Skies yes. News. We have Huffington Post that has a good news section. We have a magic wand there with Jax from the Mass Media Mastery Program. She has a magic wand waving there. Fantastic, Jax. Welcome. Um, we have so much positive news out there now, which is very exciting. News.com.au has a good news section. You know, so a podcast, so many positive podcasts and online radio shows now that are positive. Like it, it's, it's just awesome. It's a very exciting time as far as sharing positive news and as far as consuming positive news. Because, you know, sometimes we need to give ourselves a check up from the neck up, as they say, check up from the neck up and check in with ourselves. How are we feeling? If we're feeling down, then just put something positive on and lift your spirits automatically. It's amazing how it can shift your energy. Not to mention music or, you know, dancing or yoga. There's so much we can do to shift our energy. Um, so yes, very, it's, it's a hot topic what's happening now. And I, and you know, the, the mm. biggest opportunities come from the biggest breakdowns as well from the, from, you know, the biggest millionaires have come out of depression. So now there is so much opportunity now to pivot what you're doing, to do things differently, to, to shift and change, to, to embrace the online world. If you haven't, you know, online courses, content consumption is up at least 60% since COVID right? At least it keeps climbing content consumption. So if you have a, a, some information you can share in a course, you know, that's really popular right now. There's mm -hmm. lots you can do to turn what appears to be a negative right now into a positive. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm a big stand for that. Thank you so much. Okay. So back to the intro. So who would like to share, who would like to share where they're from? Uh, yes, uh, Jackie, where you're from, what you do and what you'd like to get out of tonight. Thanks, Jackie. Okay, that was really, really interesting conversation. And I just would like to uh, just throw something in there with regards to media, having come from media myself and sort of been on sets and seen how, how we tweak things and cheat shots and all of those type of things. And so I was working 
in in style in in that environment and then I've moved into education for 15 years where I've been uh, looking more at people's learning styles and um, thinking styles and uh, I think it's really really interesting because that's where we we're in a knowledge economy and with education for example on, on courses um, uh, it's uh, I've learned from spending the last nine years doing a PhD in uh, design education and design law that we actually do not actually value our knowledge and yet that is what people are seeking and there's another tweak I would like to like to mention about creative thinking the moment you think of creative people get can often get I've noted uh, can get quite fearful or fearful of creative types and yet um, the current economy that we're in we're not in a, a knowledge economy we're actually in a creative economy where our creative skills and as as Ranger Nick says edutainment and those type of thing the more authentic that people can be, the more engaging it actually is. And there was one last thought I was going to say, oh, while I was teaching, I was teaching into multimedia and IT, which like, did I just say that? You know, a student from hell dropped out of school at 15, like it, it, they even think that I would even say, classroom, you know, it, 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 it is quite contradictory uh, how I've seen myself, but um, I did te teach ethics in IT um, and I found that extremely interesting because that was about security and privacy and that type of thing. So I, too, have a different slant on how I view uh, the digital economy. Uh, and just to, tonight, when you were talking about it earlier, I remember seeing um, earlier on, I've just pulled it up on my other, other screen here, uh, an open letter to Australians, which is coming from Google. And the, uh, the Australian government is wanting to, uh, uh, has proposed the law of news media bargaining code. Now, when I was teaching IT, I was, I'm a bit cynical, all right? It's like, prove it to me, because I've been behind the scenes as well. I'm thinking, yeah, 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 what's that? That really, what is it really? And my concern is that we will have digital uh, segregation. Uh, we started off with google.com and now we've got google.com.au and so forth and, and all the different uh, places. So we're zoned off in some ways, uh, in some respects. And I'm not meaning this is, a, it's not a bad news story. I think that the people having a voice, which we're going to hear from Tony uh, uh, about, you know, that's why I've jumped on. I think it's really, really interesting with, with uh, uh, radio and podcasting, giving people a voice literally and the different learning styles of people, not everyone's set up, you know, not everyone wants to be on camera. And the, um, the consumption of, of radio is far more uh, appealing to many. And it's a greater outreach, quite frankly, because you're not strapped to a, to a camera. And, uh, you know, you can bring new big news. So anyway, I know I went off on a tangent. So I really, really think I just just mentioned what I, uh, uh, what I, I'm doing and and Sea Change Academy is what I'm setting up uh, for people to go through transitions and actually to realize, expand the thinking to encompass that there are a whole lot of platforms that people wouldn't have even thought of. Um, you know, like cars are manufactured with with internet radio and all of those type of things now, you know, so yes, I went on a tangent. Thank you. <laughs> just, as you were people, as you were, I'll just mute my, my thank thing. You, thank, you, thank you. And you're coming to us from Brisbane, right? Oh, sorry. Yes, from Brisbane. And, and see, there is a clue in there that even though I said I'm from uh, uh, in the background, I'm virtually on the Gold Coast. See, it's daylight. So, you know, watch these clues, people. You know, it's like people can be anywhere. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm actually, that's just a photo in the background, uh, but I'm based in Brisbane. Wonderful. Well, welcome, Jackie. And uh, tonight, obviously, you want to find out more about uh, online radio and podcasting. Any specific questions you have for Tony for tonight? That's a really good question. Uh, yes, I did. And, and I've, I have to ask Tony, uh, firstly, congratulate Tony for standing up and bringing the message to us because it's role models and teachers and uh, 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 such as yourselves and 
and, and old and everywhere. Uh, and I am interested to know how you found your, your, your legs. And, and how you, you know, the process from start, how you, you know, how did you begin, uh, you know, the, the, uh, in yourself, I'm talking about more so, uh, and, and, and to gain your confidence into, into being here today as our keynote speaker. Yeah, I'll be able to answer that in the presentation when we get to it. You don't want me to answer now, do you, old one? No, no, not, not yet. Just keep these up your sleeve and we'll, we'll come to these. Yeah. So this will just give you some fodder for your presentation or we can answer it after the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, that, that's wonderful. So we'll have some intros from everyone and chat about overwhelm and how to overcome overwhelm. And then we'll come on to your presentation. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jackie. All right. Who else wants to share? We're sharing where you're from, what you do, and what you'd like to get out of tonight or any specific questions you have for Tony around online radio or podcasting. So just unmute yourself if you would like to share. Don't all go at once. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, Jax. Jax. Good. Oh, Chris, Jax, who's going first? Yeah. Oh, Chris Chan, did you want to go? Oh, no, you can go first. Wait now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be long, promise. Okay, Jax, over Very to you. Simple. Old one and I have decided that I am master scribe. So I'm a, a, a writer and editor. And my passion is, is helping people who be able to um, share their legacy so um, digital storytelling is one way of doing it there's so many different ways to uh, to do things not just writing these days but there's um you could do it visually with photographs digital story there's lots of different ways so I'm very interested what Tony has to say because podcasting has been something that's been of interest to me as well so I'm looking forward to your talk tonight Tony thank you thank you Wonderful. Thank you, Jax. And we've just spent the whole afternoon together doing media consultation today, which has been lots of fun. Hence why Jax has her magic wand. She has the magic wand. This is the media magic wand. Anyone in the Mass Media Mastery Program knows this. This is I've actually got seven awesome steps to getting publicity and it's in the shape of a wand. So hence the, hence the wand. And I'll share that actually before we get into overwhelm, I'll share my seven steps with you um, before we get to that. Thank you so much, Jax, coming to us from the Gold Coast. And over to you, Christiane. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, Tony. Do you remember having Hello. me on? No? I certainly do. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Um, so it would be good to hear from what, what you're up to now. So who I am, uh, I am a body transformation coach and... Um, what I, my name is Christiane V and I'm, I'm from the Gold Coast and what I do I help women over 40 regain their health get back to the natural uh, their ideal weight and get their beach body back wonderful wonderful thank you Christiane also on the Gold Coast we have a few locals here today and I'd like to add, which I always forget, I'm also, I'm also a published author, uh, yes. which I published a book in 2017. And what's your book called, Christian? Uh, it's Health Dynamics, A Unique Principle of Self-Healing, based on macrobiotic, um eating and much more wonderful and christiane has healed herself of diabetes which is amazing and overcome a history of abuse as well uh you're, you're amazing christiane and uh I, I one of my closest friends actually gorgeous lady uh so great to have you here christiane Thank you. Also in the Mass Media Mastery Program. Yay. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Christiane. Over to you, Ranger Nick. You would let all the ladies go first, except for Tony. We're coming to her in a second. Ranger Nick, over to you. <laughs> That's because I'm a gentleman. I've got six sisters. I wouldn't be um, game to not let the ladies go first, all of them. <laughs> so, so I'm Ranger Nick. Um, I am a celebrity bush cook. I travel all over the place doing uh, 
well, catering and, and camp oven demonstrations. So it's all about edu education and, and entertainment. So I do a bit of bush poetry and uh, ballads and things like that. I've produced three books now, self-published. Um, uh, I get a bit of a spiel on the tally every now and then. I've got, a, I've got a bit of a gig with Step Outside with Paul Burt and I've also done a Guinness World Record for the longest damper in the world. So what I'd like to get out of things today or from Tony today is, again, as much information. It's a, uh, I've always sort of been a labourer, so it's only been the last few years I've got into entertainment. So I, as much as I can learn about things, I think it'll help me get to uh, the next step. Wonderful. And Ranger Nick has had a lot of uh, experiences in the media already, and he's a world record holder. Would you like to just share briefly about your world record, Ranger Nick? Yeah, well, we, we, we bought the um, title for the longest damper in the world from um, Sweden back to Australia. The Swedish Scout Group beat the uh, record, which was held in Charleville, Australia. In 94, 2006, Sweden beat it. And well, that's just an Australian. So um, <laughs> jumped to and, and, and got in and um, <laughs> bought the title for our iconic Australian bread back to Australia. Wonderful, wonderful. And that was Charleville, which is in New South Wales, right? And uh, Queensland. Queensland. Oh, Queensland. Queensland, sorry, Queensland. Yes, and Ranger Nick is in New South and Wales. Girl mm -hmm. to say I will. Charleville, Charleville, Queensland. Yes, and you are down now. We've got these lockdown restrictions happening now between New South Wales and Queensland, uh, which is a bit of a bugger. I can't wait for all these restrictions to lift. Um, so how are you feeling down there in the, the back of casino there, Nick, with these lockdowns? Oh, oh love it. It's good. I'm, I'm, I was born to be a COVID <laughs> fanatic, I think. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> It's nice to um, have time to get some things done. Generally, I'm on the road for six months of the year. So by the time you get home, unpack, clean up, you don't feel like doing a heck of a lot. And by the time you have a bit of a rest and get ready to go again, of course, it's, it's, um, you, just want to get, you just want to stay at home. So it's nice to be at home. Got a lovely vegetable patch and a lot of the chores I've been wanting to get done are finally getting done, like build a shed, get some fencing done. We lost all our fences in the fire. And mm. uh, yeah, no, and what, and what what the fire didn't get, we got a flood soon after and it took the front fences. So, so it quite, there's quite a bit of fencing to do here. So, yes, yeah. it's nice to um, just finally chip away. And, and I tell you, with good news, Aldwyn, you're a good news person. Lovely. We've been yeah. here for seven or eight years now, and it's nice to actually finally get to walk around the border and have a better look at the, at, look at the place. There's 1,500 acres here, so so much of it that we haven't explored, but it, it was nice to uh, go for a walk around and view some of the scenery. Mm, absolutely. And the air is certainly fresher now, I must say, since COVID's happen happened. There's not as many people out and about, which means we actually can see the stars now. <laughs> and, uh, and the environment is recovering as well, which is wonderful. So there are a lot of positives. And if you want to get that book done or get that program done, now's a great time to do it. So uh, <laughs> wonderful. Welcome, Ranger Nick. Ranger Nick, also a member of the Mass Media Mastery Magic Program. Thank you so much, Ranger Nick, coming to us from New South Wales. Now over to Tony, who's going to be our guest speaker. Tony, uh, and now I know you probably don't have questions for yourself. However, I'd love to hear <laughs> where you're from, where you're from, and uh, where you're from, and well, maybe what you'd like to get out of tonight, because we have got some other cool people here and people on the Facebook Live as well. Um, so where you're from, what you do, and what you'd like to get out of tonight. Hi, I'm Tony Lontis from Radio Tony and online radio is my jam. Um, I am passionate about telling people's stories, whatever that story entails, and using online radio to do that. Um, I live on the southern Gold Coast, Talabudger Valley, not too far from the border, um, on acreage with my goats, llamas, husband, uh, ducks, a chicken, um, and two little dogs. And I am 
really grateful that uh, Aldwin asked me to be on the show tonight and I can't wait to actually talk to Aldwin tomorrow on my show. Wonderful, wonderful. And I just like listening to people's stories. I like to listen to what they do um, and hear what they have to say. Mm, fantastic. Thank you, Tony. Thank you so much. Can't wait to hear your segment tonight. Thank you so much for being our guest speaker, talking about online radio versus podcasting. If you have just joined us on Facebook Live or wherever you're watching this, that is going to be our topic tonight. Thank you so much. So now we have heard from everyone here. So what I'd like to do now is, is talk about my, my seven awesome steps, because I'm sure you're wondering what my seven awesome steps are. So I'm not going to share my screen this time. I'm going to do things a little bit differently, this Mass Media Tribe event. I'll just share what the steps are. And then I want to talk about overwhelm and some simple strategies to overcome overwhelm. Okay. And when you feel the busyness and you feel like the world is caving in on you, what can you do to pull yourself out of that? And I want to have this session also as a brainstorming session and invite comments from people on the live Zoom as well on what you do to overcome overwhelm and to handle your never ending list of to do's. <laughs> Who feels like that? Who feels a bit of overwhelm sometimes out there? Show of hands. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be everyone. Yep. Yeah, I've got my two feet up as well here. <laughs> the two hands, two feet. So yes, we'll get to that. So the seven awesome steps of my mass media mastery system, the A of the awesome is articulate story, articulate your story. So it's very important when you're looking to get media coverage that you think about what is your story? What is some of the highs and lows of your story? What are some things you want to promote? What is your, is there one product you want to promote? Maybe it's a book launch. A lot of people who join the program, they have a book they want to get out. So what is your product that you want to get out or what is your service or what is your message that you want to promote? Maybe you don't have a product or, you know, maybe you don't have a service. Maybe you want to get a message out about something. Maybe you want to make a difference in a certain area. So what is that that you want to do? So the A is articulate your story, the A of the awesome steps. The W is then working the angles around that. So no matter what industry you're in, no matter what topic it is that you want to talk about, no matter what you do, what your story is, the fact is that your X factor is your story, right? Your X factor is your story. No one else has your story. So your story can be weaved in with angles out there and the media look for angles when it comes to stories. And if you want to find just to get some ideas on what kind of angles are out there on your story right now on what you do or your industry, then a great place to look is to go to news.com.au, check out news.com.au and look at the different segments in there. We've got lifestyle sections, we've got travel, we've got good news section in there. There's all sorts of, there's even the what the fudge section, would you believe on that site? And so no matter what area it is, whether it's health or travel or food, or whatever it is that you do, there are articles out there right now around that. So that will give you some ideas on some angles that you could look at that you could work your product, service or message into that angle. Okay, so that's working the angles. All right, and then the, the E of the awesome steps is to elevate your profile. So when it comes to elevating your profile, you then need to package up your story or your angles, you need to package it up. And I am a big believer in press releases. Yes, you can get media without press releases. However, you, you increase the chances of journalists getting the facts wrong. Okay, it's a big concern for people that journalists get facts wrong. They're very, very busy people, right? There's a five-year burnout with journalists nowadays. And we're finding increasingly they are really stressed. So the easier you make it for journalists with your message, the more they're going to love you and the more they're going to invite you back. So you need a press release, you need photos or visuals, and you need to pitch it effectively. Okay, you've got about 45 seconds to get your pitch across to a journalist. You need to be snappy, no mucking around. They talk very fast. Okay, so that's the E of the awesome steps is to elevate your profile, packaging that up. The S of the awesome steps is to startle the media, to get the media's attention. What can you do that's creative and entertaining, visually entertaining, what's colourful, what can you do to represent your story? And the more colourful it is, in, in print media, we call it a, a pick opportunity or a photo opportunity story. Sometimes you can have an average story, but if you have good visuals to go with it, then you will get a better run. 
Okay, now the world's longest damper, that's a fantastic visual, right? That is something that is hot news for the media, right? Something like that, where you have a great visual of something really unique and different. Or if you dress up outrageously yourself, you know, that's fantastic as well. You know, having some colour in your photo. Whenever I've done animal action events over the years, I set up the world's first animal action day in 2007. And whenever I've done events around that, we've always had very colourful photos and visuals, always dressed very colourfully. I actually have a rainbow hat that I put on to make it even more colourful, right? So what can you do to make what you do colourful and exciting and fun? Okay, so that is the S is startling the media with some great visuals and some, something really fun and exciting. And then the O of the awesome steps, the O stands for owning your power. Now, before you do your media interviews, it's very important that you build your own confidence in yourself and that you get that you do have an amazing message to share. People get very, very nervous when it comes to media interviews. And this is very relevant also for podcasting and online radio. No matter what media it is you're going out to, you need to learn to overcome your fears. So the O could also be overcome your fears, but it actually stands for own your power. Own your power, do whatever it takes to build confidence in yourself and to center yourself before you go into the interviews so that you can then master the next step. The M of the awesome steps is to master interviews. Okay, so once you go into interviews, there's all sorts of things you can do before interviews, during interviews and after interviews to make the most of your media appearances. Okay, so M is mastering interviews. And generally speaking, with a lot of TV coverage nowadays and a lot of news coverage, you've only got three to five minutes to get your story across to have. So, so you really need some good sharp grabs, particularly with TV interviews and, and radio interviews with, with news that is right not feature interviews like podcasts online radio, a lot now with 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour we could talk about formatting the Tony today I actually I'm very curious to ask you Tony what your opinion is on that one that's my question. I want to know what you think. What is the best podcast length? I think that or podcast or online radio uh, length for a podcast or interview. Personally, I love the one hour format. I love doing one hour interviews because I like to dig deep into people's stories. So that's how I like to do with Media Queen TV. A lot of interviews I do go for one hour because I just think you can dig a lot deeper. Even with half an hour, I feel sometimes you kind of skim over the surface. So I personally love the one hour format. Um, I was on Ticker TV this this week and I got a few grabs out and the guys, the, the guy that was interviewing me, a guy called Adrian Franklin, he said, oh, I love this topic. Let's talk more about this. And he's invited me back now for a longer interview, which is going to be happening. Uh, it's actually going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at around, um, it's in the afternoon at uh, 3.10 p.m., I believe. Yes, tomorrow afternoon. So that will be live on Ticker TV, which is uh, live streamed um, in, from Melbourne. And, uh, and so he's invited me back for a longer interview because I came across with some great grabs, right? So if you come across really good with your interviews, you will be invited back. And this has happened a lot when I've been on radio as well. If you come across excited about what you do, you've got that passion, you've got that excitement in your voice and you, you know, you speak your mind, you know, regardless of what other people think, people always, there's always going to be people that love you and hate you regardless, right? So it's about speaking your truth and being true to yourself in what you say and respecting other people's opinions too. I think that's really, really important. So M is mastering interviews of the awesome steps. The E is then exploding your impact. Once you have your media coverage, then how do you then maximize that with social media, with a whole online news world? So there's a whole lot of strategies around that too. So that's very quick coverage around the awesome steps. Now, I want to talk about overwhelm because overwhelm is something that I think people are experiencing more and more of. Now, the feeling of overwhelm can be because of outside factors, right? You could feel sometimes like the world is caving in on you. Who feels like that? Sometimes like the world is caving in on you, particularly lately, right? It's kind of feels like, oh my goodness, what the hell is going on with the world, right? It can be outside factors, but more often than not, overwhelm can lead to anxiety, and, and really, I think a big thing here is to check in with yourself and notice when your heart is beating faster and when you're feeling overwhelmed. And there's certain things that people may do when they're feeling overwhelmed or when people get into the fight or flight situation, right? When people are triggered, they say they act like three animals. They're like a, a tiger and they'll fight. They're like a hare and they will freeze or they're like a horse and they'll run. 
Okay, so there's you either you fight, you freeze, or you you um you fly, you're out of there, right? And sometimes people do a combination of all those things. And overwhelm can certainly stop people in life, right? It can stop people. So I want to share a few strategies today that has really helped me with overwhelm because you know I, I tend to be one of these people I guess that just takes on a lot of work right take on a lot of and I kind of have this never-ending to-do list does anyone else feel like that here like a never-ending to-do list of things right and so sometimes I don't get around to things as fast as I'd like to and I kind of think I'm Wonder Woman sometimes and I can just whip up magic like that you know but it doesn't always work that way right so what I find when I get into overwhelm is I got to get all that stuff out of my head and brain dump it and this is one of the best strategies, I think, for overwhelm is actually to just get a big pad of paper or get a booklet or something and just write down all the things on your mind that you're thinking of things to do, whether it's email someone or phone someone or, you know, do a webinar, whatever it is, even longer term projects, just get it all out of your head, brain dump it all down on a bit of paper. And then every day, look at that list and just highlight what are your three top priorities for the day. Just with a highlighter, top three priorities for the day. And so then whenever I find myself in overwhelm, I just say to myself, Alden, what's the next thing you need to focus on? Because sometimes when we think about the big project, you know, and doing a book is a big project for people, right? If you think about, oh my goodness, I've got to write that book. You think, where the hell am I going to start? Well, you just, you chunk it right down. The very first thing you might do is you start your computer, right? Next thing you might do is you then open a Word document, right? Or a Google doc, if you're doing it on a Google doc. Next thing you might do is brainstorm just some dot points of what you're going to include in the chapter, right? So you just break everything down. And of course, Jack, Jack's is the expert. This not me with book writing, although I am in nine compilation books with chapters, but you know, um, I'm definitely not a specialist book writer as such as Jack's is here. Uh, but you know, you break the task down and that's so you chunk it right down to make it achievable. And the more you achieve these little goals, then it becomes easy to achieve the big goals. Okay, another great thing to do when you get into overwhelm is to breathe. Now, I would encourage you right now to take a deep breath with me. And uh, who'd like to do that? Just a deep breath. Okay, in for three, hold for three, and then out for three. Let's do this together. Okay, from the belly. Now, when you breathe in, you want your belly ideally to go out as you're breathing in. Okay, so you could even put your, your hands right at the base of your belly, just under your belly button. And when you breathe in, your belly should be going out. Okay, and this is a great thing to do before your interviews too, by the way, to relax you <laughs> before you're going to those media interviews. All right, so let's do this big breath. Okay, all right, in for three. Hold for three. And then out for three. Now you can do that, you can do that a few times if you'd like to, do that three times. There's another great technique that's called box breathing. And Dr. Mir is a guy that I've worked with. We did a, actually a press release about this, about building your immune system. Got a whole lot of media about box breathing. And what box breathing is, is you breathe in for four, hold for four. So you kind of look at it like a box. In for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four, in for four, hold for four beats, and then out for four hold for four. So four beats. I mean, you could do four beats, three beats. Um, ideally also notice how you're breathing. Are you breathing through your mouth or are you breathing through your nose? And when you're breathing through your mouth, you'll find your mouth will get very dry. So ideally as much as possible, breathe through your nose. Some very simple strategies here to help calm you down. Another great thing to do is restorative yoga. And this is something that I love to do. I love to get into child's pose. Um, and have a big cushion under me. And I recently did a women's retreat and this was amazing. And apparently 20 minutes of restorative yoga can be like two hours of rest as well. So it's very important to take time out if you're feeling overwhelmed. You might have heard the saying, slow down to speed up. Has anyone heard that? Slow down to speed up. A guy called Richard Clint from America. I heard him say that once and it's always stuck with me. So child pose is basically when you just you just get you just crawl forward and you just basically put your arms out, have a cushion underneath you, and you just lie forward. And it's also a great way to get your blood flowing more to your brain as well. So uh, restorative yoga I find fantastic. Another great thing you can do if you're in overwhelm is you step away from your computer, particularly if you're on the computer all day or you, you just you, you break state, break state with it, whatever it is you're doing and put a song on, put a song that you love, have a bit of a dance and then get back to it, whatever it was that you're doing. So just shift the energy, right? 
Another great thing is to have a glass of water. These are simple strategies. Have a glass of water. You'll immediately feel better if you have the good on you, Tony. That's the way. So we're meant to be drinking, you know, at least two, three liters a day, right? Depending on your body weight. And uh, yeah, definitely drink more water as well. will help lift your energy and help you cope with overwhelm. So there's a few strategies from me on overwhelm. I'd love to hear from you. What are some strategies that you use on how to overcome overwhelm? Actually, another great one is gratitude. Get into gratitude. What are you grateful for today? And as you're sharing, I'd love to hear what you're grateful for and what your tip is to overcome overwhelm. So who would like to share? Just unmute yourself there. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, who have we got? Tony? Yes, Tony, what are your strategies? Welcome, Anne. I, um, I have been increasingly using small meditation. So... Um, bigger meditation morning and night but if I'm really anxious then I'll do I've got a couple of lovely uh, four five and eight minute meditations and I'll just stop and sit and do that in sometimes in my chair um, sometimes in another room definitely that's been helping a lot fantastic that's a that's some great tips thank you so much Tony that's great I love that I love that. Uh, and if you want to stick any of these uh, tips or meditations into the Mass Media Tribe group, that would be wonderful too. So people can enjoy those meditations. If you've got links for anything like that, that could help. That would be wonderful. Excellent. Tony, love it, love it. And Christiane, you have some tips for us. And what are you grateful for today, by the way? Christiane. Oh, I'm me. Oh, okay. Uh, what am I grateful for today is... Um, Grateful for you, your friendship, <laughs> and uh, grateful for everything that I have and everything that is coming to me. Love it. So what I do um, to overcome overwhelm, um, I did a 12 course, a 12 week uh, program doing the artist's way. I don't know whether you've heard about that, Tony. Yes. Artist's Way, The Artist's Way. It's a book. Have a, have a look at the book. And it's, yeah. yeah. So uh, a group of women did the 12 weeks program. And so what was compulsory is for us to write a three, um, three pages of A4 um, morning pages. And you just dump everything that is in your space or that's in your mind. And once you do that, it doesn't really um affect what you do and what i found and I, I still do i finished the program a couple of weeks ago and um what i found that i'm still doing it and i've found i've resolved a lot of conflicts that i've had uh, through this process and it's just helped me dealing with everything every single day and the other thing that i do i try to uh, go for walks and uh, I do a lot of challenges but I can't at the moment because I have uh, fractured two bones in my toe so but meditation is definitely what I do every single night even if it's 15 minutes so as Tony um, you know um, I've endorsed that as well and most people who do I think we just have cal calmness and we are more present to who we are Mm, wonderful love it thank you so much christiane jackie you'd like to share oh uh well i i like to use mind mapping um because i'm a lateral thinker so when i get into overwhelm i've got all these ideas that i need to put into place and i use the expression that i lose my way home it's like i don't know where to go first so by doing my maps i get great i've got a great big pad and also colored pens. Um, so I don't restrict the way I list things. Our mind thinks in curvaceous ways rather than straight lines of list. I know some people like list. I do use Trello, an online software, so I can put things in compartments that I need to do. But mind mapping I found is quite liberating because I can see the big picture. And then I can come and sort through what's maybe the first step that's going to influence more. So I'll get more done by doing less, by being able to identify a piece that um, 
uh, is um, useful for, in, you know, knocking a few things off the list, if you know what I mean. So mm. I, I'm, I'm grateful for being alive. Uh, it's that simple. I am very lucky to be alive. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my dear friend, uh, my dear friends and, and family for being there for me uh, when I didn't even know I needed it. Um, I think uh, you know, a, a very serious me medical emergency and you find out who your friends are uh, when you wake up and that they're there for you. I'm grateful for being alive and I think that the complexities with all this COVID and so forth, we forget to have fun. You know, I think it's just been all consuming and uh, moving forward, you know, I'm just grateful for the, to be alive and that the, we, we have more days. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you, Jackie, for sharing. I absolutely love that. That's right. Every day, every day alive is a blessing. In fact, every moment is a blessing. And, you know, this is it. Life is made up of the moments and the power is in the present. Yeah. The present is a present. <laughs> yeah. It's a gift, right? The present, being present is a present. So being mindful, being present uh, is really, really important to make the most of life and appreciating the simple things in life. You know, one thing I love to do is to go to the beach. I'm so grateful that I live near the beach. And in fact, this morning I did a 90 minute walk on the beach, which is crucial for my mental health. I, I really need to do that at least a few times a week. And then I threw myself in the ocean and it was bloody cold. I can tell you it was cold, but it was invigorating. It was definitely, I was wide awake by the end of that walk and the end of that swim. So uh, it was, it was some, that's something I love to do. Some people might call me crazy, but I do love to do that. And on the Gold Coast, it's still, it was glorious. The sun was out. It was stunning to watch the sunrise this morning. Uh, and so do what you love, do what you're passionate about, because a third of all people die by the age of 65. So think about how old you are right now or how young you are. If a third of people die by the age of 65, that's pretty damn scary for some people, right? So you want to make sure you make the most of every single moment and not put things off because tomorrow may never come. It's all about the moments, right? Making the most of every single moment. And something I've done in line with helping to share more good news and more gratitude is I set up a good news day on the 8th of the 8th. 18 we have if you look at facebook.com forward slash the good news day you'll see the good news day there facebook.com forward slash the good news day that's something i set up on the 8th of the 8th 18 my beautiful niece was born on the 8th of the 8th 08 so it's a celebration of her birthday and eight of course is an abundant prosperity number in chinese as well so eight was just a good time to do it as well i thought so we just had the third annual good news day and i also launched during covid the global good news challenge and i know a few people have done it. christian you've done the good news challenge anyone else done the good news challenge here yet no not yet okay well we have one every month so you can join in the global good news challenge is absolutely free and um, you can check that out on facebook as well global good news challenge and uh, we just had an eight day challenge for august and we'll have a september one that will be launching soon so as long as you connect with us on the global good news challenge page on facebook then you'll get the updates for that and that's basically you just share your name what you do three things you're grateful for and a piece of good news and that way you automatically lift your own energy and you're lifting the energy of everyone who is seeing your good news challenge for the day on Facebook Live. And there's a lot of power in writing down what you're grateful for. There's even more power in speaking it out, in sharing what you're grateful for. It's amazing how it just lifts your energy. And the beauty is too now with the world of, of mass media, we have 7.8 billion people on the planet. 3.8 billion of those are active social media users. So what's happening now is journalists are actually looking to social media every single day for story ideas, which is very, very exciting. So never underestimate what can happen with just putting a Facebook Live out there and just sharing your story and sharing what you're grateful for. It's very, very powerful. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Anyone else want to share any tips on how you overcome overwhelm and what you're grateful for today? Just unmute yourself if you'd like to share. I'm grateful to live in this beautiful country. I'm grateful for my family and my friends. I'm grateful for our time together. Old went today. That was really good. Really enjoyed that. And um, as far as my overwhelm, well, I've created a little space for myself um, now on my balcony. You saw my balcony, but beautiful 
view. It's very relaxing. I've got a nice lounge chair that rocks and it's um, just that time where I can just chill out for a bit. And um, I, I really like reading um, the Bible, actually. You mentioned the Bible, Aldwin, and I like to at least set aside a little bit of time every morning, if, um, preferably. And Proverbs is one of my favourite books, full of wisdom and just absolutely amazing. Never ceases to amaze me when I read. Um, well, just the whole book is amazing, really, but it takes a long time to read and it's quite complex. But that's what I do to unwind and it just helps me to just not stress to know that everything is going to be fine. That's Wonderful. Me. And which, which section of the Bible do you like the best? I really like the book of Proverbs because it's got so much wisdom in it and it's got so much everything about finances to uh, life choices. It's just really quite amazing, amazing book. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of amazing books in it, but um, that one is if, if you want some words of wisdom and some pearls, that's the, one of the awesome books. So that, that's my Wonderful. Thank you, Jax. The book of Proverbs. Yes, I must say, I haven't looked at the Bible for a while. My grandma gave me a leather bound Bible many years ago. She's now past God bless her. I'm sure she's here watching over us. Um, but uh, yeah, we, I, I grew up as, you know, I was Greek Orthodox, um, grew up as a first generation Australian in Sydney, with Greek, Turkish and Ukrainian background, if you're wondering where my amazing name comes from. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, I grew up with a Christian background. I would say nowadays, I'm probably more spiritual I think it's the one God that we're accessing now that's kind of my, my current opinion on it um, I do think there's a lot of wisdom in the Bible from what I've seen and, and I like the I like the Christian principles um, but uh, you know each to their own on that I think um, being lo loving and caring and considerate of all cultures I think is really important particularly at this time so um, that's wonderful thank you Jax anyone else like to share before we hear from Tony on online radio and podcasting what are you grateful for and how do you overcome overwhelm? What are some tips that you that you do? Anne or Range or Nick, would you like to share? I think we've heard from just about everyone else. Yes, I was going to share. Um, first of all, I agree with you that uh, there's uh, um, one spirit, if we just use that term, because everyone uses different terms. But I also agree that um, you're crazy. Um, going and jumping in the cold ocean. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I know I'm crazy. It's the crazy ones that change the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly right. But, you know, we still love you. Um, <laughs> but I, I do something a little bit more moderate, whereas I believe in grounding. I think grounding is really, really important. And um, I start uh, the morning out in the sunshine. And even though it's winter, uh, we're very fortunate that we have uh, lovely sunshine that comes through and we also have this magnificent tree and and I'm sorry I don't know the name of the tree it's one of the ones with the big trunks um, and um, go out and hug that and it's so big I can't even get my arms halfway around it um, but you know it is really really nice to just go and ground and bear, be barefooted when it's not too cold um, unlike people jumping in oceans um, but yeah just <laughs> Overall, just very, very grateful for um, what I have in my life, what God provides for me, and um, follow along with what Jackie says, you know, the, the friends and uh, relatives that are very special. And, and, you know, people are very important, and it's important to have people in your life and, um, and then love and care one another. Mm, yeah love that Anne thank you so much now we missed your intro at the beginning so could you just share quickly just where you're from and what you do um well that's an interesting question I do a bit of everything actually um <clears throat> I'm down in Dolby um in the, the Darling Downs um so it's a rural area um did start off with a rural background as a youngster uh, gone through and done a little bit of everything, um, finance, uh, share broking, insurance, uh, ended up running um, a temporary division, um, one of the, the major ones in Australia, and uh, loved doing that, and then went on and, and had my own team um, that would go out and uh, promote products, um, and then uh 
got involved in computers, um, eventually learned how to program and did a lot of programming. And then um, eventually gave that up and cared for mum and dad for 10 years. So done a bit of other caring off and on. So still, still doing a lot of that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> now looking to set up a charity. Oh, wow. What's your charity cause? Well, the charity uh, we were actually renamed, but at the moment it's called Future Opportunities. But we're looking to um, help people um, around suicide. We're not wanting to take over from um, salvos or anyone like that that has a crisis line, but to help people before and after suicide. So mm, we're wow. in the process of getting that all set up, and that's a very complicated process. Mm, wow, that is that is such a cause that's so dear to my heart as well and part of why I do the good news work I do as well because I've actually had depression over the years. You know, for years my dad said anger is danger and I internalised my anger for years which led to depression and I've actually had four friends take their own lives before the age of 45. Uh, not because they knew me, by the way. I just want to say I don't have that impact on everyone I meet. Um, but, it, it, but, you know, it, there's actually about a million people a year that take their own lives, which is just absolutely tragic. And I think if we can spread more good news and lift people's spirits, because there's always something you can be grateful for, even in the worst times, right? Things can always be worse. Things can always be worse. That's the thing to remind ourselves, particularly at this time, right? And reach out. Are you okay? Day is a great initiative. Right. Are you okay, Dee? Check in with people. Are you okay? There's a great interview I did on Media Queen TV. I interviewed Tracy Corman, who used to live next door to Jack's, is bizarre. Uh, Tracy Corman is, runs Two's company, and I interviewed her about how to overcome abuse and depression. And we shared how we both overcame abuse and depression. It's on Media Queen TV. Anyone can see it. A lot of people who have depression feel very alone. So it's very important that you know they reach out in some way or that you even send them the link to that interview because they'll know they're not alone and other people also can feel some really dark moments at times and it's okay to feel low moments at times you know the the thing is after every breakdown there's always a breakthrough if you just stay on that roller coaster ride of life right just stay on there hang in there and things will turn around i do believe that so what a great cause Anne. that's brilliant thank you so much for joining us excellent and Miriam Ranger, Nick, would you like to share before we go to Tony's online radio podcasting segment? Can't wait to hear from Tony. Would you like to share how you overcome overwhelm or something you're grateful for today? Ranger, Nick, over to you from New South Wales. <laughs> yes, I'm grateful today that I got the chook run finished and got a good start on the stables and everything for my girl, Utah. So that's all looking like an equestrian shed down there today. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, I also got to play on me dozer. That's what I got to do today, Aldwin. So I'm pretty excited about that. I, I'm finally chipping through all the jobs so I can get to play with me toys. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Love it. And is that uh, what you do to overcome overwhelm? Play with toys? Yeah, I guess so. I, I go fishing or get on the motorbike and go for a ride or. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes even into the grog a bit, I'll have a gut full of bloody beer. And, <laughs> and I mean, a lot of people will say, have said to me over the years, you know, look, you can get, you can get drunk and there's certainly issues with alcohol. I'm not promoting this. You can get drunk, but the problems are still going to be there the next day, which is tr very true. However, right now, I don't want to worry about the problem. I'm having a beer. So sometimes I do that. Yes, yes. Some responsible drinking of alcohol, responsible drinking, of course. Oh, no, not at all responsible. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, well, what you do at home, I guess that's, that's fine. As long as it's not impacting anyone else, uh, that's all good. Nothing wrong with a drink every yeah, now and but, then. Yeah, but you know what I mean, though. Just to turn off for a little while. Yeah. Yes, the problem's going to be there tomorrow. But right now, I just want to forget about life for a while. I'll yeah. worry about it again tomorrow. Yeah, got it, Ranger Nick. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. And Miriam's hopped on from Perth. Miriam, I'm not sure if... Uh... Oh, there you are, Miriam. Yeah, well, hi. 
I'm very grateful that I finally got the link to jump on here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, gosh, I've been in through going through a loop of registering. Anyway, I was watching it on the live, the Facebook live. So um, I finally managed to <laughs> get home and figure it out. So I'm very wonderful. grateful to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Mary, before you go, I'd love to hear, well, we know you're from WA. You're also in the Mass Media Mastery Program. Uh, Miriam, just share a little bit about what you do and what you're grateful for today would be wonderful and what you'd like to learn from the podcasting episode tonight. Yeah, well, I am um, known as Redemption Mama. I, I love supporting people to get back the things that they've lost um, in their life, particularly um, relationships. It's something I work a lot with women in sexual abuse and domestic violence and that kind of thing. But I'm, I'm making a bit of a transition to um, with my project called The Beautiful You Project and that is to support women before they get to that point of complete undone, unravel and brokenness, mm. which is rather interesting, trying to disrupt women's thinking in that regard. And I have a podcast called The Beautiful You Podcast. Um, Alden's been one of my guests on that, which was wonderful. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm really looking forward to learn whatever I can to continue the journey with that. And so, yeah, I'm really grateful for many, many things. Um, what am I? Well, I just had um, afternoon tea with some lovely friends and my little grandson. So I'm really grateful to be able to celebrate life with, with him. It's good fun. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Miriam. And the beautiful new podcast, if you haven't checked it out, is amazing. Uh, Miriam had me crying just about all the way through. I don't know what she said, but um, <laughs> I was sharing from the heart and it was just the tears were coming out. I, so it was, a, it was a very heartfelt episode. It was, you have a special gift, Miriam, I believe, with your podcast. So I love what Aww. you do and uh, I think you're amazing. So check out Beautiful You Podcast. Very cool. And I think that's a lovely transition now to lead into the amazing Tony from Radio Tony. Um, now, Tony, I've heard great reports about people who've been interviewed on your show. And um, uh, now, Christian, you've been interviewed on Radio. Yes, you've been interviewed. Anyone else here been interviewed with Tony so far? Anyone else? No, not yet? Okay, not yet. All right. Well, I can't wait to hear from you, Tony. So if you would um, like to share your screen. Share my screen. Um, and thank you for all those great uh, links and the apps you've just shared there, Tony, about uh, apps called Calm, Insight Timer, Relax Melodies, Breathe, uh, et cetera. There's some great things there in the chat. Uh, you do longer meditations at the beginning and the end of the day, short meditations for overwhelm during the day, four minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, walk outside, snuggle the goats, the things you do, gratitude each and every day, reading your vision and mission every day. There's some great tips as well. Christian meditation is always the best. Now, if you, if you have joined us on the Zoom, uh, please do pop your links into the chat in Zoom. We're going to be having a give, some giveaways after this. You need to be on the live Zoom. And if you can't find the link, all you need to do is register in Eventbrite. Just go Alton Alternay in Eventbrite. Look for me in there. Follow me in there. And then you'll find the event. Register for the event, which is open for another hour. You can still register. And then once you register, you will be with the confirmation email. In the order confirmation will be the zoom link okay and then you hop in the zoom and then you'll be able to join us on the live zoom that's the process i'll work out a way to make it simpler but that's what we got at the moment <laughs> all right tony thank you so much please welcome the amazing tony lontas from radio tony yay thank you over to you tony thank you all and um just checking before i start you can see my screen okay can everyone see the screen yes yes can see yes me. yay okay Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Alwyn, for um, allowing me to talk to your group tonight. I very much appreciate it. And it's Alwyn's turn to be interviewed tomorrow at 12 midday. So um, you can listen to Alwyn and I have a chat live on uh, Radio Tony tomorrow. So a little bit about me. Um, I'm a wife, a mother, a nana to one very uh, boisterous, uh, intelligent four-year-old grandson called Archer, who is the delight of my life. Um, we live on a beautiful acreage property in Talabudra Valley, um, which is about 10 minutes from Burley Heads on the Gold Coast in southern Queensland with our goats, llamas, dogs, ducks uh, and one chicken. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm also an author, radio host, speaker, and curiosity seeker and lover of storytelling. So I, uh, my life was not always this way. So I started out in life as a nurse and I progressed through all sorts of um, roles within the operating theatre and then got into management and finally uh, got into Queensland Health statewide uh, health and coordinated statewide networks around operating theatres and anaesthetics and also the maternity and neonatal network across Queensland, which I loved. And from there, I then went into some project management and helped um, with the Ipswich Hospital uh, expansion project, which was off the top of my head, about $26 million worth of infrastructure and planning. And I did that for a while. And then we made a bit of a life decision to move to the Gold Coast and I transitioned into the planning of the Gold Coast University Hospital. And as with lots of people who have been in corporate life, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. And I was subject to some bullying and um, some not so nice situations. In the background of all this had been a lifelong struggle with depression and anxiety. Hence, I kind of know how to um, manage my anxiety head and the uh, suggestions in the chat box before are all tried and true for me. And again, it's about finding the things that work for you as an individual. And so at that time in my life, I had reached my 40s and my I had an incredibly uh, traumatic, I had I had lots of trauma throughout my life. So I was born with a congenital facial defect called a preauricular sinus. And for those of you who don't know, that's a tiny little hole on the side of your face and it's usually connected to somewhere else. So mine was connected to my parotid gland, which is just underneath your jawline there. And um, the problem with them is they get infected all the time. And by the time I was two, I'd had many, many serious uh, infections and the surgery to try and fix this uh, defect resulted in left-sided permanent damage to my left-sided facial nerve. And so for most of my life, indeed into my 40s, I looked like I had a stroke. And tonight you might notice I'm quite tired and so I can actually feel my face drooping my smile not working quite the way that I like it to do. Uh, so as you can understand, growing up with that inability to smile, I'm not sure if people realise, but humans communicate through facial expression and smiling. And if you cannot smile or you have a defective smile, it really impacts on your, the way that you associate with the world, the way that you connect with the world and how people view you within that world. So carrying forward to um, my early 20s and I had the start of what I think was a depression and anxiety. So by the time I reached my 40s, I'd had my fair share of trauma, sexual abuse, uh, domestic violence, divorce, miscarriage, you name it. I'd done it, had it or had it happened to me. By the time I reached my 40s, I was on uh, the route of a train wreck. And so just before uh, I had the last major tra trauma in my life, I had been off work with uh, depression. I'd finally given in, gone to the doctor. He sat me down and said very clearly and as kindly as he could because I was in his office and I couldn't stop crying. I'd left work, it just totally shut down. He sat me down and said, you are at a, ma a major crisis point in your life. I believe that you have a major depressive disorder. You must stop work. We need to get you into some therapy and I want you to start taking some medication. So I'd fought this diagnosis for at least 20 years. My nursing background and my nursing head had uh, created a whole stigma around helping or having a mental health diagnosis. So I had stopped 
myself getting help or seeking help right up to that point. So at this time, I'd just gone off work from uh, my GP saying, if you don't do this, you will end up hospitalized. And of course, I don't really want to be hospitalized. Into this were, was the disclosure from my daughter um, about her sexual abuse at the hands of the man that I was just about to marry in two weeks time. So from that point in my time, in my 40s, in amongst all this trauma and um, this complete and utter mental breakdown, I thought that my life was over. I thought that life was done. Um, I couldn't see any light. I'd lost all hope. And it was that for those of you that have suffered depression, you will understand that very deep, dark place that you slide into. So I... Uh, was searching for something that would give me hope and as I started on my healing and I started to invest in some self-development so just little things I started to do I started to find out about um, what goes on in your head how your brain works negative self-talk why uh, your image of yourself is so important and for the next 10 years I worked on myself. I worked on healing my trauma. I worked on my dysfunction. And I'm telling you, it was hard work. Cut forward to 2018. And at that point, I was feeling relatively good again. I could actually look in the mirror and see a half decent human being. And I'd also noticed that as I healed myself and as I got through and dealt with my trauma, my face started to work and I developed a dimple in the left side of my face and as the nerves on the lower end of my face started to work again I started to feel a little more comfortable and a little more confident in life. As I uh, grew and uh, developed I started to talk a little bit about my story and here's where my passion lies. As I started to talk about my story, I was encouraged to write and more and more people I started to open up about, they said, you need to write your book. People need to hear your story. People need to know that it's okay. And so once I started to um, talk to more people, they said to me that, um, sorry, old one, I've forgotten about my slides <laughs> and now I can't get them to work. Oh, let me just see if I can. It's just not feeding through. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll quickly go through these since I've talked and forgotten to show you the slides. So I published. Um, so as I started to heal, I started to write. And the more I started to write, the more cathartic and healing it was. And that culminated in the publishing of my book in 2019, Resilience, a memoir of a broken little girl, uh, discovering a woman of strength and beauty. And so as I published that book, I started on the route of increasing my social media presence and talking to people. And I also went on to produce my audio book. Now at the time, I was still too scared to get on a phone call with someone I didn't know. So when I went to the producer and asked them uh, about producing the audio book version of my book, I was not going to narrate it myself. I was going to pay um, a uh, voice actor to do it for me. And luckily for me, the beautiful uh, woman at Brisbane Audiobook Production encouraged me to narrate it myself. So I slowly, and I'm talking really slowly, I think it took us six weeks to get through the narration of my book. There were lots of tears, lots of hugs. And finally, I got to the end. Of it. At the end of it, she sat me down and said, Tony, has anyone ever talked to you about your voice? She said, there's something about your voice that's very calming and very spiritual. And have you thought about podcasting or online radio? At the time, I said, no, no way in hell, uh, silly idea. However, the universe that guiding spirit that I believe in so strongly had very much other ideas for me. And so 
I started to talk to different people about podcasting. That led to a conversation with an American uh, media company owner, which led to a Skype call and Radio Tony was born. And the reason Radio Tony was born was because in that year, 2019, I made a decision. And that decision was I was no longer going to be fearful and I was going to say yes to things that were presented to me, things that scared the living fear out of me and things that I was terrified of doing, I was going to say yes to. So, of course, when I was talking to this media um, company owner and he said to me, this is a, a paid platform and this is how it works, and I was immediately fascinated and terrified at the same time. And then he said to me, I have an amazing spot that will be a great time in Australia and a great time in the US and I think you should give it a go. I got off the phone and had a chat with my husband and my wonderful, uh, loving, so uh, sorry, I'd met an amazing man, we'd subsequently got married and he has been my loving, wonderful support all this time. And I said to him, what do you think? And he said, well, if you don't give it a go now, you may never try. And so Radio Tony was born. And there was not a lot of thought about what it would be or what it would grow into or what I, w I was even going to call it. So he said to me, so you've got this new show. We're setting all up the, the technology around it. What are you going to call it? And I said, gosh, I don't know. Radio Tony. And so that stuck. <laughs> so no big uh, vision around Radio Tony at that time and can I tell you that the first time the first six months of being uh, live on radio I was sick every time I stood uh, every time I got next to my microphone I was physically sick but I kept doing it and I kept doing it and I kept doing it and so come the end of uh, 2019, and I'd been on radio since March that year, and I thought, this is actually pretty good. I really like telling people stories, and I like would be able to uh, would like to be able to offer other people the same opportunity. And that simple decision, again, was something that has helped me grow my business to what it is today. And so before we talk any more about that, I just want to clarify the difference between online radio and podcasting. And they are two completely different genres. And why that's important for you to understand is because one or other of the genre will suit different people uh, and for a different purpose. So Online radio is a process whereby you are connected to huge broadcasting servers that spread your message over the internet. So you need a microphone, you need headphones and a laptop with or desktop with internet connection. You are connected to a platform somewhere else in the world and they connect you using a technician to the broadcast service. So when I started in online radio, I just did audio. And my first platform is uh, the Women for Women's Network in Florida, USA. And the way that you're connected to that show is via Skype. And it is audio streaming only. The new platform that I use, so I have a number of shows and a number of platforms. The new platform that I use is BBS Radio in uh, California. And with them, they do audio streaming and video streaming. So you get a greater combination of uh, streaming with that platform. So, and they have greater technology around their platform. So there's, without trying to overwhelm you, there's a whole different range of ways that you can do it. And the podcasting is something that is pre-recorded, audited, and then uploaded to a podcasting platform. And there's huge amounts of them. So there's Anchor, there's iHeart, there's Spreaker, there's 
podcast, there's um, Podbean, there's there's multiple podcasting platforms. And podcasting platforms are a distribution for your audio or your podcast. So a podcast is just an audio file. And that's the difference between online radio and podcasting. Online radio is pre-recorded and it's an MP3 file. Online, uh, sorry, what did I say? <laughs> podcasting is, is a pre-recorded <laughs> segment and online radio is live. So just like live radio and live TV, when you think of it in traditional terms, it's the same with live radio. You go live at nine o'clock, such and such a day, every day, week in, week out. That's your spot. And that's what you pay for in the platform. Now, in exchange for that payment, you get a technician to do all the technical bits of managing your show. All you have to do is turn up with yourself or a guest and do your show. After your show is done, they then convert it to, in my case, either a podcast or a podcast and a video, and they distribute it for you. So it depends if you'd like a done-for process or a process where you're responsible for auditing, re-recording, and doing the professional and technical components that are required to do a podcast in a professional way. So again, two different genres and they're going to suit different people and different purposes. And the other thing is that the podcasting market is a completely different market to the live streaming market. So from my perspective, I get a live streaming market and audience plus a pod streaming market and audience. With online radio, you tend to have a built-in audience because people already follow that particular radio station with podcasting you have to generate your audience so just like selling a book you have to sell your podcast and promote it whereas if you use a paid system they do lots of that for you so just some of the interesting thing that you might like to know about online radio is that it has changed from traditional radio and airwaves, so to speak, and it has gone onto the internet, which has given it much more capacity and capability to reach people. So I record from my Gold Coast studio. It goes to San Francisco or Florida and boomed out to the world. The technology includes live streaming from uh, onto all of my socials. So I'll go live at 9 a.m. in the morning and at the same time, it will live stream to Radio Tony on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, plus all of BBS stations, live, uh, YouTube, Twitch, et cetera, et cetera, plus 350 other live streaming radio stations across the US. So if you can imagine that size of that audience and the capacity for you to get your message out to a bigger audience with just one show. So that's what I like about uh, online radio. Um, oops. Um, and just to give you some of the statistics around online radio, in America, half of uh, Americans aged over the age of 12 have listened to online radio. And additionally, between 2010 and 2015, the population grew from 27% to 53%. And at last time I looked, it was up near 65% of the American population. So that's without Australia, Canada, New Zealand, UK, anywhere else that they can listen to that radio. So eMarketer suggests that market projections um, for online radio have digital listeners growing from 147 million to uh, uh, 191.9 million by the end of 2019. So those are last year's figures and results. And apart from the growth in the number of online radio users, the channel offers more opportunities for which media can use to reach existing and potential customers and audience. And you can listen from multiple devices. So not only your iPhones, laptops, um, 
desktops, but also car radios, your home speakers, the you can tune in to online radio. No longer do you just need a, um, a traditional um, uh, radio. It's online. It's internet. You can listen on any device that has connection to the internet. So some of the differences between online radio or internet radio or live streaming radio and podcasting are that there's a discipline around online radio and I like that discipline. I like to know that I'm going live to air on a specific day at a specific time, just like traditional radio and TV. There's similar equipment between podcasting and online radio. And podcasting uh, is cheaper with no built-in audience. Online radio offers you an existing and built-in audience. And it's a paid platform where most of the hard work is done for you. Um, every day, radio has roughly twice the listenership to podcast. So that's another important component to consider twice the listenership of podcast, 90% of the uh, US population listens to radio every single week. And I'm talking online radio, uh, whereas 51% of Americans listen to podcasting. So those are just some of the differences when you're considering what genre is better for you. So, um, oops, sorry. <laughs> so next... Whoop. So next, I just wanted to talk to you quickly about what I do and how I help people. And at the moment, I am currently finishing off my online radio and podcasting uh, course, which will be online and it will be do it yourself. So it'll give you the information, tell you the steps and tell you what you have to do to be an, a podcaster or how to get into online radio. And then I have further packages that are what I call my hand-holding packages. And they range in price from $700 to $3,000, depending on what you want to do. So it's a very individual program I like to put together, depending on what you want to achieve and how much money you're willing to invest. Um, so the... For many people, they like the done for you. So set up the branding, the technical aspects, order your equipment, do your schedule, find a date and a time, and everything is done for you in a done for you package. Others will like to do a do it for yourself, read, teach, learn themselves, and then other people fall in between into the medium sized packages. So, um, in particular, just I wanted to say that there is a wonder around online radio. And as Alwyn alluded to earlier in the show, you have the capacity to say what you want to say. You're not confined to a particular station politics or what you can and can't say. Online radio gives you the ability to say what you want to want want to say and reach your target market or the people that you want to talk to there are when i think of online radio there are an amazing amount of shows from numerology astrology to cooking shows to travel shows to business shows and for me i have a talking to a um a spotlight on the author show which christiane's been on and we've promoted and talked about her book there are my business shows where I do collaborative programs so that you're not doing it by yourself. I co-host with you a series of programs in a strategic fashion, um, mapped out for you, done for you, and you get a taste of what it's like to be in online radio. And then take it a step further and there's I will get you your own show. So I hope that sort of answers some of the questions that we had earlier in the show. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now because I know that there will be lots more questions that um, you may have about the difference between online radio and podcasting. And I tried not to make it too technical. So please ask the technical questions, but I never know whether... 
um, what your understanding is. So I try and keep it as simple and basic as I can. So that's online radio and that's how Radio Tony was born. And so I don't call myself a podcaster, although podcasting is a byproduct of what I do. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, so you much. Thank you, Alwyn. Thank you, Tony. I really enjoyed that. That was amazing. I could listen to you all night. That was uh, oh, fantastic. We thank do you. Have- I, I was going to say there's lots of statistics around the growth of online radio from your big companies like PricewaterhouseCoopers or Deloitte's. The projections for live streaming audio, be that podcasting or online radio, huge projections going out to 2025 so that's why the interest in podcasting and that's why the growth in podcasting and it's um big brother i guess you could say online radio Mm, fantastic that is brilliant well it's definitely a fast growing area and uh you know it's it's something that if you have a face for radio it's perfect uh online radio (laughs) and podcasting and 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 that's the thing all when i started out with just voice so you couldn't see me at all the my first programs are all just voice and people love that because you can you can do live radio or podcasting in your pjs and let me tell you i've done that many times (laughs) but now i've i've started to step it up a little bit and go into the live streaming video and audio simply because of the technical capacity of reaching a bigger and greater market is there with live streaming video and audio. It's often called radio TV. Mm, yes, and I, I must say I love radio TV personally because the way yes. I look at it is, is every time you have an interview anywhere, you're capturing a legacy. And Jackson, yes. I was talking about this, this today actually about legacy, leaving a legacy. Yep. And, you know, these four friends of mine who took their own life, you know, there was no video of them anywhere. And, yes, it's very powerful having audio of you out there. When you combine that with video, it's very, very powerful. And you can't turn really audio into video. Quite, You can put pictures and things, but you can't really turn it the other way around. Whereas if you have the video, you can extract the audio, you can extract, you can, you know, use, use something um, use a program to actually extract the text as well and turn that into yes. a, yes. Um, yes. you know, a, um, a blog or, a, you know, turn it into to print as well. So once you have the video, yeah. you can do the radio and the rest. So it's very, very powerful now what you can do with technology. Um, yeah, I, and fascinating what you can do. The, the guys at um, in San Fran are actually at the moment programming so that you can press a button and it will broadcast alert all your connections and contacts and it will also at the press of a button transcribe your video uh, for you as well so the technology around this area um, is amazing and I am blown away every time I talk to them about you know what's happening in that area Mm, and I'm hoping that there's I'm hoping that um I've answered some of your wonderful questions from the beginning of the show, but um, over to you, Alwyn. Yeah, wonderful, Tony. And I'm just looking at the Facebook. I know some people had trouble logging in, so I've just put the Zoom link into the chat underneath where this live video is playing on Facebook in the Mass Media Tribe uh, group. So uh-huh. if you haven't joined the group, you'll see the live, this live streaming there. So anyone who's watching this on Facebook, you're welcome to join us on the live. We have another half hour or so to go, and we're going to be doing some giveaways for anyone who is on the live Zoom. So if you want to join us, then just hop on that link that is in the chat there. And, and Donna Lee Perfect says... I for- oh. Yes, Tony? Sorry, Dylan. I forgot to mention that um, if you want more information, um, please email me at info at radiotony.com and I will uh, help you in anything with any questions, any information you want to know. Wonderful, wonderful. That's fantastic. And maybe we could pop that into the chat on the group as well in Mass Media Tribe in the group, um, in the chat there. If any of you want to put any of your links in there, you're welcome to. Donna Lee Perfect says, you are an amazing, resilient woman, Tony Lontis. Love you lots. She's saying on Facebook. Um, and I love Donna too. <laughs> yeah, amazing lady. Hello, hello, Donna Lee Perfect. We did the Gold Coast Business Laughter Club together there for a while. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, any other comments, questions, either on Facebook, I'm monitoring Facebook or on the live Zoom, then if you're on the live Zoom, you can unmute yourself and ask your questions. Please ask. 
who has some questions. Jackie, yes, unmute Yay. yourself. Yay. Firstly, thank you. That was really, really interesting. And my question that I raised earlier uh, was about how you felt in yourself when you sort of went online and you mentioned that you were physically sick. So actually that's yes. that, that, that's quite a vulnerable and well done from going from there and keep doing it to your eloquence that you're presenting now. So that was really inspiring. My questions um, were, uh, I suppose, practical questions with regards to yes. monetization and whether you have, yes. uh, you're able to, through those, two yep. models that you mentioned, whether you're able to create a email list, subscribers, that type of thing. Uh, so it, are you able to monetize online or, or are you- Absolutely. Doing... Yes, thank you. So a number of ways, and I've um, trialed a, a whole range of different things. So I've um, had sponsors, which sponsored um, the show for a month, um, and they paid a nominal amount and um, got an interview as well. I've also gone down the route where I've done business collaboratives where um, we co-host the show together and they pay for that privilege because it's a huge market. Um, I have um, and still do have 30 second ad spots that play over the um, whole of the station. So BBS has two stations. They run from um, early in the morning till late at night and you can advertise on a whole of station run. So similar to traditional radio, but this is the online version. Um, I've also done a little promos partway through uh, programs. I've had people pa um, pay to play their song. So emerging artists wanting their song to be played because you um, you play you play it live on the show, but then it also stays in the podcast and in the digital market space forever. So the thing about um, audio and video streaming is that Google loves that, and their little bots crawl around the internet looking for taglines words etc so if you're talking about that in your show it will pick it up and direct people to you um, there's capacity to do banner ads there's um, capacity to do um, bottom of your show ads there's whatever you can dream up whatever you can think of you can monetize that in this platform and it's your show. So you get to do what you want within the confines of your show space. So on the Florida platform, my shows are 50 minutes. On the, the San Fran platform, they're 55 minutes. Um, and in terms of podcasting, the ideal time for a podcast is 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And the thing is that podcasting, um, it, people who are looking for podcasts tend to be looking for the shorter grabs whereas live radio uh, and tv is that longer as Aldwin said before that one hour or generally about that one hour is the most popular time frame i know other people that do, that do two hour shows and i've played with the two hour format before i've gone back to one hour because it it's much easier it's much more structured, although sometimes I feel like I'm cutting my hosts off and saying, okay, it's time, because you could be very strict with your time. Um, but it does, uh, usually if you plan well, you can get that content for that particular show done in that 55 minutes, no problem at all. Does that help, Jackie? That was very generous. Thank you very much for that. And I, uh, with regards to, no, just one last question with regards to uh, your your uh, listeners. Uh, how yes. uh, are you able to keep track of those uh, 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 listeners, or do you redirect them to your website, or how do you uh, sort so, of? So, so so put simply, um, <laughs> it. 
it, with the podcast portion of what I do, you can easily see who's downloaded and who's subscribed by visiting each of the individual platforms where your podcast lives. For live radio, you are um, you can have a uh, estimated audience. So currently, my estimated audience is between fifty thousand and one hundred and fifty thousand, depending on the day of the week and what wow. the show is. And along with that, you can also pull analytics in terms of, um, well, I have been able to in the past, they're working on the system at the moment, so I can't tell you right now what that is, but you will be able to have demographics, uh, pulls and clicks, so pulls from the show, clicks for links that you mentioned in the show, clicks on the video. And then, of course, you've got all your social media in behind that where you can see on, um, so for Pinterest, um, it's one of my top three platforms, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Lowdown is Facebook. I'm actually not on Facebook like I used to be just simply because it just doesn't do what I need it to do. So on Pinterest, I can see clearly that there's been 2,700 views of that particular video or that particular ad. And then from the Pinterest analytics, you can see the click-throughs. So it's kind of, it's not always as straightforward as you would like it to be, but yes, you can grab all that information and see how you're doing and see, I can see very clearly just just using Pinterest alone, I can see very, very clearly what's working, what's not, who's clicking where and who's following through and clicking to um, whatever particular offer I might have. So for my business collaboratives, they can clearly see who's clicked through and clicked on their landing page, who's gone through and clicked on their email or who's gone through and clicked on their particular product. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you are so inspirational, like on all levels, oh, like you're engaging because you. you're so authentic and so generous with, with your knowledge. So thank you. I'm really glad that I, I uh, enroll for tonight. Thank you very much, Tony. I'll, I'll shut it, up it's, now. It's my... <laughs> It's my pleasure. I, I, I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. And I love to tell people what you can achieve if you just get over yourself. So I like to <laughs> present. I am an imperfect middle-aged girl learning as I go. And I think that if I can do it, then what can a young person create? Like, seriously, what could they create? Yeah, no, it was awesome. Thank you. My um, pleasure. Wonderful questions there, Jackie. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Um, now we do have time for a few more questions. So who else has any questions? If you're watching on Facebook, pop your questions into the chat and I am monitoring those over the next 10, 15 minutes or so. So um, I'm loving this conversation. So much to learn around all of this. It's really, really cool. Uh, and and, 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 and there is so much to learn, Ogwen, and it keeps evolving quite rapidly as well. So when I started, uh, it was mainly live streaming audio and now it's verging into that live streaming video and then you add the restreaming and the um, restreaming to syndicated stations and it just keeps growing. The beauty of it is that people can pick and choose what they what they want to listen to. So if they really like you and your show, then they will come back and back and back to hear what you have to say. And that's the beauty of it because people get to choose. There's much less advertising so there's still advertising because we still need to have an income but uh, there's much less than traditional tv that has ads and stuff all the time and you get to advertise your stuff like you know in your own show you can talk about your stuff till the cows come home particularly if you're passionate about it get on there and talk about it yes. and people will engage with you yeah, I love that. It's interesting being on Ticker TV this week, actually, because they don't yeah. charge people to come on Ticker TV. And uh, yeah. I'm quite blown away that in just a year, they have 12 staff in their Melbourne studio and they're just doing yeah. so well with what they're doing. But how they monetize it is that people can purchase a copy of yes. the interview if they want to afterwards. Mm -hmm. So they have different packages. One is around $300. You can purchase just the raw footage yeah. of your five-minute interview. And in Ticker TV, it's just... Yeah. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, right? Five minute interview, you yeah. can purchase it, or for about five hundred dollars, you can get an advertising package with it. Uh, and they also have sponsorships, so they have corporate arrangements. Yeah. And I looked into all this because I find yeah. it fascinating how different yes. 
media yes. monetized, right? Because some people charge yes. to people, some people don't. You know, it's it's really quite interesting what's going on out there. And, uh, you know, the whole world of advertising has changed so much, of course, now that the whole I was just going to say um, to Jackie is that I use a combination of paid and free because I like to choose people that I interview but conversely um, I charge as well so I do a complete marketing and promotion so they get a blog and mass social media promotion um, and, and, and information so it's quite a cost effective way for people to reach a wider audience um, and it's cheaper than 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 so that my packages are cheaper than than ticket tv and um i'd be really fascinated to know the results because i've been watching ticket tv as well to see what happens with them two old ones so yeah look it blows me away a five minute interview if just imagine if they have and they have live streaming like at least nine hours of live yes. streaming can you imagine yes. how many people they're, they're interviewing for five minutes and just yes. say 100 people a day, just say 100, yes. I don't know how many yes. five minutes, 100 people a day buy yep. just the raw footage for $300 and yes. what's that? What's that? $30,000 yes. a day in, in yes. <laughs> just for the raw footage. But most yes. people do the $500 package and get the advertising with it as well. So I think it's a very clever yep. model. They don't charge you to be interviewed, but you can. No, actually- but they charge you for the. You can, if you want to, if you want to yeah. buy, and I actually yeah, yeah. Didn't, buy, I didn't buy mine from this week so far. Um, I found yeah. it just way too short, although I am being interviewed again tomorrow. So if it's a, if it's a good interview that I like, I may just purchase it um, because yeah. it's nice to have as a show reel. It's nice to have with your, with your marketing avatar and what's a few hundred bucks, really. It's not much. Yeah. You know? Yep. So it's, it's and a so very when- good strategy. When Alden comes on the show tomorrow, um, I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Alden, but I, I'm not charging Alden because she has so much value to give the audience. But in return, she'll get the social media um, promotion and she'll get the, the files, the audio file and the video file will get to her next week. So again, um, I like to do the combination of paid and unpaid because I like that freedom to talk to the people that I want to talk to and I balance that with people who pay me to interview them live on the show yeah I love that and I also think what's great now is so many people are doing podcast swaps right so they're you know they're yes, interview, you know, correct you interview me, I'll interview you you promote me I'll promote yeah. you you know this is all win-win I love win-win scenarios you know and and always can I yeah I was going to say, Alwyn, that's part of the power of what you can create. If you have someone who combines their network with your network and the radio station network, you can really reach a lot of people. Absolutely. It's, it's a win-win scenario. Yeah. And, that you know, there's a great yes. saying, give more than you receive to always receive more than yes. you give. But it's just how the world yes. works. The law of reciprocity, yes. right? Always, yes, always. Yes, absolutely. Give always be giving and it's a yeah. great way too to leverage yourself if you're time poor if you're yes. overwhelmed you want to be leveraging yourself because you do every show you do you're leaving a legacy so Correct. Uh, jackie you have a question and guys just just so you know that what it's grown into so i started out with one 50 minute show that quickly went to two 50 minute shows back to back and this week i have seven live shows this webinar and a guest on uh, two podcasts. So the capacity is there. There's a real um, interest from people in business to explore a non-traditional route of marketing and media promotion. Absolutely. And Aldwin would be able to back that up as well. Absolutely. It's incredibly powerful. And the thing is, is not to stress if you're not getting that many views or listeners initially. The Correct. Thing- you just stay on your path. You just keep putting it out yes. there. It could just be yes. one person you interview who has a million followers. Absolutely. That suddenly you've got a million followers and everything else. Once people see you, yes. you know, things can, you, yes. you know, the thing is in, in life and in business, sometimes it feels like you're kind of chugging, 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 chugging along, right? Yes. And then suddenly yep. one tipping point, one person, one amazing JV contact will just take your business exponential, right? Correct. Or your life Correct. exponential. Don't yep. underestimate the power of your contacts and the power yep. of JV is so powerful with this kind of yes. media. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Jackie, yes. 
just that's again oh this is so exciting um <laughs> to, to train, i'm so but, happy it's exciting you <laughs> oh it, it it is i i i'm a lifelong learner believe me i just love love yes. love it, you know and and, and uh, it brings me to the point of um application of uh, of all these concepts and and mm -hmm. the overwhelm that uh old when uh, uh the concept of old uh, uh Aldrin was discussing earlier, and I just wonder, do you yeah. manage this by yourself or do you outsource any of it? Do you find that there's <laughs> parts you handle and, and, and uh, uh, yeah. Up until uh, two weeks ago, I still did all my own social media. I have just taken the step and I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I've just handed off my social media management to um, a local um, company who are also helping me with marketing. And I've had to do that because there's quite a bit of work involved in, I, I like to be professional. I like to research the people that I talk to. I like to be um, aware of what they do so that I can be passionate about presenting them. And so there's quite a lot of work around that. And I've just had to now bite the bullet and go, okay, time for someone to help me because I just, I couldn't keep up. So I have, um, I have an amazing um, VA slash EA who is part-time and I have the marketing social media team that have just started looking after my social media. Um, again, very scary for me to let go of what is my baby, but the, the content that they're producing is more beautiful than I could ever do. So it gets to that point in growth where you have to decide what's worth hanging on to and if someone else can do it better for a way, in a way that you can afford it, then you have to start doing it. And I, again, I have big dreams and big visions and I would love to have my own station one day filled with amazing hosts talking about amazing subjects. Like, could you imagine Ranger Nick doing a live stream of his um, curry and spices? And, and what about in terms of education for you, Jackie? You can run live each week could be another subject on another thing. And you have the capacity to engage your audience. They can ring in, they can zoom in, they can call in and ask you questions live on air. And that's equally fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, it's, it's certainly, I don't think I'll be sleeping early tonight. My mind's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um... And Christiane, when she came on with her um, book, they, people engaged. They love to ask questions like, how did you publish? Why did you publish? People love they're connected by stories and it's a and it's about time that we started making it easy for people to connect with other human beings. TV and traditional radio are one way. You don't get con to connect with your audience. This and what Alden old one does, you get to connect with people and that's what the world needs. And 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 on that point too, the importance, yeah. you know, tying in together again the the uh, mental health of people and the social distancing yes. Yes. to be able to use yes. the medium to connect with people in a Correct. real way in a real yes. way and the interactivity that you're describing now I mean yes. it, 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 it it's necessary it's a service yes. it's not just it's entertainment but it's it's so people aren't lost do you know do you know, Jackie, some of my most powerful shows have been about the hard stuff in life, depression, anxiety, suicide. Mm -hmm. They have been the biggest, most liked shows, the most downloaded around those difficult subjects that we find hard to talk about. And then conversely, anything to do with health, uh, biology, um, homeopathy, uh, the natural modalities of healing and spirituality. People love to talk about spirituality. And can I ask, you're a nurse, so you have the credentials. Uh, do you find that there are, sorry, I'm just like asking in so many. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, do, I'll make this my last question. But, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, you know, with regards to, to Mark, oh, well, I, 
I, did I promise I would make this last question? But uh, with regards <laughs> to your um, expert area of expertise, being a nurse and dealing with yeah. uh, health issues, um, I, yeah. I I had heard that there's a um, uh, a thing called EAT, which is authority. No, sorry, expertise, authority, and trust. So if you're yes. representing yes. a particular uh, uh, theme or uh, that you'd have to show Oh, we've lost Jack. Just froze. Just froze. Oh, I think that I'll be finished in a minute. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> it just froze, Jack. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to put someone's name when I tag them when I... We're oh, hello? Yeah. Ten percent, or uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. Someone's talking in the background. Sorry, that that's my husband. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just wanted to say, I, I my husband's just got home from a long trip and wants his dinner, yes. and so I have yes. to go. But um, thank you so much. It's been really interesting hearing your story as well as um, what you've managed to do in a few years. It's just quite mind blowing. Um, oh, so I'd love to you. get in touch with you. Uh, Please I think you do. Said Tony Lontis at info at radiotony.com. Info at radiotony.com. At Tony with an I. Tony with an I. We'll, we'll put the link in the chat under the Facebook Live in Mass Media Tribe yep. in the Facebook group. Oh. So we'll put the link in there if you want to get in touch with Tony. And this look, it is 927. Um, so we've got giveaways oh, to do. Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh, we've got giveaways to do. I would love to keep chatting. I know there's more questions. Christiane's got a question. Miriam, did you have a question as well? No, just I just wanted to say thank you and, and I'll get in touch. I'll, I'll have to go, but um, it was really wonderful. That's fine. Enjoyed it. I anytime if you if you haven't got the email, Alwyn can give it to you anyway. So thank you so much, Miriam. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. So we'll take a quick question from um, uh, Christian or if oh, Jack. No. To, um, Hi, Neil. Uh, and Neil's got one too. Hey, Neil. Okay, quick question. Uh, so we're happy to just go a few minutes over time. Is everyone happy to? I'm Is fine. That... Okay, no one has to run off. Okay, we'll go a little bit longer. We'll take, take our last mm -hmm. questions and then we'll do our giveaways. Okay. All right. So Christian. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, my question to Tony is, um, I think she sort of answered the question. Um, I wanted to know how many interviews she has per week and is that in specific times uh, as well? Yes. So this week my seven shows are at specific times. So um, let me see. I had... Um, Tuesday at 12 o'clock is um, was a, a business show um, that I've been talking to um, an NLP expert about how NLP helps you in life and in business. Um, then today, my two live shows were both business collaboratives and uh, one, they both got different unique um, programs and the way that they help people and businesses. Tomorrow, I've got three live shows. The first one is my um, spotlight on the author's show. And I'll be talking to an amazing woman from Sydney, um, cancer survivor, local um, counsellor, has her own TV show, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, I've got Tracy Tully, who is launching her own show. So I'm just, I'm holding her hand just for a couple of weeks and then she'll be off on her own. And then at 12 o'clock, I've got Aldwyn. And that is Radio Tony Everyday Business. So I will be talking about Aldwyn and Aldwyn's business and promoting her. And um, then, yes, that's the end for this. That's, that's all of them for this week. But, yes, I have specific times. And when I collaborate with a business, we pick a time that is suitable for their business, number one. Uh, number two, a good time between America and Australia. So one of those good time slots is 7 p.m. Pacific time USA is the equivalent of 12 midday Australian Eastern Standard Time. So a lunchtime listening crowd and um, and that's particular consideration if you're live streaming into LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, YouTube sort of not really doesn't really matter, but it also is 7 p.m., which is still the drive time end in the US market and a good time for business. Yeah. Yeah. So what I, 
Um, so you've got three shows in one day, but that's not any specific time, though. They are 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and oh. uh, 12 a.m. Yeah, got it. So you yep. can have three yep. in three different slots in one day. You can have three, three, three. different slots. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so the radio three... station. Sorry, Christian. Yeah, keep going. So the radio station has hourly slots and you just, you pick. And again, I try and pick time that coordinates well between Australia and the US because we're chasing the US market and we're in Australia. So you can actually pick different slots, like two or three yes. slots in one day. Okay. Depending I on what station is available. One hour, one hour each time, each day. It's not. No, it's no. one hour each on yeah and it depends what the station's got available because they've got their own cohort of of hosts doing all sorts of different shows so it just it it's a bit variable as to what's available oh cool I, that's that's really it's um quite unlimited in a way like it, i thought it was just you will actually have one show a day for example but you can have three shows in one day three yeah. that's awesome yeah. my my regular spot is 12 midday uh, Thursdays and all the other shows are coordinated according to what that business wants in terms of time and what is available at the station. So the station's got two stations, BBS Station 1, BBS Station 2, and then my Women for Women's Network as well in Florida. So the last question I wanted to ask is, uh, do you interview... Um, either male or female and also in any topics at all? I am open to suggestion. And um, if it's a paid interview, then absolutely um, I will make sure that I'm across whatever you do. Not to say that I don't give my unpaid uh, interviewees the love but if you're paying for a service I want to make sure that you get the best of the promotion and marketing that um, I can give you and um, make sure that you get your message out into the world. Awesome thank you so much for answering my questions. My pleasure. And it's great to see you. <laughs> great to see you too. Neil did you have your hand up before or you're just saying hi? Neil, welcome just unmute yourself there Neil. <laughs> Maybe I can unmute you. Here we go. I'm asking you to unmute here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Hi, there guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mike. I'm on an iPad, so I, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of um, easy access. But uh, great to, yeah. to catch up, Tony. And thanks, Alwyn, for the opportunity. Welcome. Uh, I, I have met Tony previously before yes. COVID. And it, we yes. haven't sort of been able to reconnect. It's just been very awkward. Busy. But uh, I, I was on there about an hour ago, so I did catch most of what's being said and appreciate yeah. uh, you've answered some of the questions because I was very curious on how you achieve the maximum audience response out of your different uh, people that you put on the shows. And do you get a Richter scale sort of thing to monitor when that comes to say, wow, that was a great response. I should be looking at uh doing that sort of topic again i do i do keep um particular eye on what's happening uh, depending on how big my week is so this week's a huge week for me so i haven't kept my eye on it as much as i would like but yes you can clearly see the subjects or the presenter or the interviewee that has more engagement than others and I don't think that there's much rhyme or reason around that because some shows that I've thought that I did just terribly in have been really gone gangbusters so um, I'm still learning and I'll absolutely say that I'm still learning and then other shows you thought oh man that was just the best show and it's just like crickets so it's kind of interesting to see what works and what who people engage with so my most popular co-host has been a girl from russia talking about nlp depression and anxiety oh for sure most thanks, engaged tony. person thanks tony yeah 
Amazing. My and pleasure. NLP is neuro-linguistic programming for those that don't yes, know. Yes, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Sandra Haywood on Facebook says, very interesting information. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Glad you're here. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Fantastic. Any other questions before we go to our giveaways? Any other oh, Jack's got one more. I know she's got one more. <laughs> oh, Jackie, yes, we do. <laughs> Unmute yourself there, Jackie. Very quick one. I know, I'm sorry. I did almost say that I, I wouldn't, but... Um, <laughs> Regarding your branding, how uh, um, do you have to send your own branding to the station? I mean, how, how and if you're doing the video, you mentioned about uh, converting a video to different formats. Uh, do you provide them with the the visuals, or how do you how do you? No, okay, so. So again, the principal reason for engaging with um, my new marketing team was around branding and they have rebranded me. So the stuff that you're seeing now from, from Tony Lontis and Radio Tony is my rebranded stuff. Um, I help my clients uh, do the, the visual around their shows because I like you to we want to do something professional so you need a professional intro and a professional outro and their components of a, a professional show so if that's audio then it, that's an audio intro if it's an audio video show then it's a, a little mp4 with um, audio behind it and it just introduces the show and then you come on live. So you'll have usually an intro is under 60 seconds and your outro is um, probably half of that, about 30 seconds. Can be longer, can be shorter. It's pretty variable, but its job is to introduce you in a professional manner. So like the like any TV show that has the start of the show, that's their intro. Same on live radio. And I help you do all that. Yeah. Yeah. You've made my day. Thank you again. <laughs> you made my day jackie thank you thank you for sharing my passion oh thank you well yes so you've engaged me you've transferred it you know <laughs> thank you very much thank awesome. you awesome good luck with everything it's wonderful thank you now tony our interview tomorrow how can people listen yes. to that if you jump on bbsradio.com click station one which is a purple button on the left-hand side of the website, if I remember correctly, and you'll hear the live show. It also live streams into LinkedIn and Radio Tony Facebook page and YouTube, and then all of BBS's stuff as well. Wonderful. So if you don't see any of Tony's other stuff, make sure you catch our one because it's going to be amazing tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'll be just letting old one do the interviewing. <laughs> And we'll go from there. That's right. I'm actually interviewing Tony. We're going to take over the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a 12 from 12 to 1 tomorrow. I can't wait for that, Tony. It is. And um, it is. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. And then uh, and then we'll we'll flip the flip the tables and I'll interview you, Tony. That'll be great. <laughs> hey, it'll be payback, <laughs> payback with those hard questions. Part, <laughs> Tony. Part of um yeah, sorry. Is it possible to have a link or something to the, uh, you know? Yes, let, let me ask. just, I'll let, I'll let Aldwin talk while I grab the link and I'll put it in the chat box for you. That sounds brilliant. Thank you. Wonderful. And then now if you want to save the chat, by the way, um, then you just go to where you go to the chat at the bottom and you just go to where uh, you can type a message. Just go to the top right there. There's three little dots just where it says everyone file. And then there's three dots. You can save the chat out of here. So you can save everyone's information. We'll also make sure we get these links into um, the main links here into the Facebook uh, group mass media tribe if you haven't joined it already please do mass media tribe we are on meetup as well we're still keeping our meetup going i've got about six groups i'm running on meetup so meetup.com oh is a very powerful uh tool as well um definitely check that out and um uh yeah have a look at mass media tribe mass media tribe so we'll put those links also in there so you can hop on the live show tomorrow 12 till 1 australian eastern standard time and you did say 12 a.m before tony i'm sure you meant 12 p.m or noon oh right? god sorry yes noon. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be noon. 12 noon 
12 noon, which uh, American yeah. time, depending where you are, will be nighttime over there the day before, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Now, let me just get this other link for you, old one. Yes, which will be fun. And, you know, the main thing with your interviews, just have fun with it. Don't worry about it being perfect. Yeah. You know, Jax and I were talking before. I did three years of Toastmasters. Who else has done Toastmasters here? Anyone else? Mm. Toastmasters? Yeah, okay. A few of us, right? So we know that they count your ums and ahs. <laughs> Yes. So if you're not paranoid, you know, by the time you go to Toastmasters, they're, they're counting all the ums and ahs. And I know after years and years of speaker training, I still say ums and ahs. So don't stress about it. Be yourself. Have fun with your interviews and, uh, you know, speak your truth with it. It's never going to be perfect. Just, you know, just speak your truth. Trust that the right words come out and enjoy. And I think that's the main thing. Yes. Enjoy sharing your message because your X factor is your story. No one else has your that's story. Right. So if you haven't shared it yet, if you're the world's best kept secret, then it's perfect that you're here. Perfect. You're watching this and you can help share that. Yeah. All right. Any other questions yeah. before we go to the giveaways, before I share my screen, I've got a special way to draw the winners today. I'm going to give away some workshop tickets uh, and anyone else who wants Yay. to give anything away, you are welcome to do that tonight as well. You have to be on the live zoom to, to win tonight. Uh, any final questions of Tony before we go to the prizes? Any questions from our live? Zoom, Neil. No, is it all good? Oh, all good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, me. I have a question. All right. Any other comments? Any comments? What are we getting from tonight? What are some things that we've got so far? I'd love to hear from you, actually, on the Zoom. Who'd like to share? What have you got from tonight? What are you going to do differently? Um, anyone like to chat and share? Uh, yeah, Just quickly, Tony, what was the sort of timeline it took you to sort of get where you are? Is it... 12 months, two um, years, my, three years? My first show was March 2019. So okay, it good. is now, what are we, August 2020? Yeah. Mm, so a year and a half. Mm. Yeah. A year yeah, half? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. And look, now Tony's teaching other people how to do this. So, you know, it's fantastic. <laughs> and it's brilliant. It just goes to show, you know, love what you do, keep doing what you love, and then you can teach other people. Yep. You only need to know 10% more than yep. someone else to teach something. So um, that's right. So it's wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Ranger Nick, I could see you reaching for your computer. Were you reaching to unmute yourself? <laughs> I could see you coming forward. Or were you saying something to Yuta there in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Just unmute yourself if you'd like to chat or if anyone would like to share what they've been getting from tonight, any ahas, wisdom. Yes, Ranger Nick. No, I was just trying to read the old eyes. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous, Ranger Nick. That's gorgeous. Well, it's true. I, I have <laughs> The left side of my brain is nothing right, and the right side, nothing's left. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Wonderful, wonderful. Any ahas, any questions before we go to the giveaways? Anyone else want to share? What I'd like to say is that I love the accent of Ranger Nick. He's so Aussie. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Absolutely. I, I, I was blessed with Comes this with nasally that. Australian accent. <laughs> 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 he's so funny Ranger Nick he's, he's like a he does comedy you know edutainment we're talking about educates and entertains and I must say every time I talk to Ranger Nick I just absolutely just cack myself it's it's like a comedy session and my cheeks end up sore and it's, yeah it's, it's just and wonderful. the funny thing all to end is that you saying Ranger Nick Ranger Nick you know I thought it was like Veronique or some French name uh, it's just like who is this Reginic? That's that's an odd French name I've never heard before. <laughs> and when I saw his name, and I just Ranger Nick, <laughs> got it now. <laughs> Ranger Nick, Ranger Nick. Actually, Jack, you speak French. How would you say Ranger Nick in French with a French accent? <clears throat> just out of interest. Oh, ask Chris John, a Ranger. <laughs> oh, yeah, French too, Christian. How would you say Ranger Nick? Nicola. I know Nicola, but Ranger. <laughs> oh, what is Ranger? The so French, what do you mean? In French, France? If you say Ranger in French, it's Ranger. Ranger, Nicola. Nicola oh, means Nicola. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. 
Bonjour. <laughs> Nicolai. How did it go again? How did it go? Say it again. <laughs> Bonjour, Nicolas. Bonjour, Nic Nicolas. Bonjour, Nicolas. Bonjour, Nicolas. Bonjour, Nicolas. That sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Now we know Ranger Nick in French. Okay. At the next Mass Media Tribe event, we will attempt it in Italian. That's Spanish. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Okay, let's go to our giveaways. Are we going over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we digress, we digress. Thank you for watching the live. Now, I'm going to share my screen and show you uh, what we have here. Uh, okay, share, okay, share, share. Okay, now, hopefully you'll be able to see my screen. You'll see my Facebook. Yes, I have been on Facebook the whole time. Yay! <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on our... Um, on our beautiful people over there making comments. Okay, this is a wheel of names here. I have all your names in here. Uh, have just make sure your name is there actually make sure your name is there for those are on the live zoom have we got everyone there have we got anyone there who's not... It's not in French uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we should have everyone have we lost anyone off this list that's had to go uh, no I think to, uh, oh I think we've got one extra is T Tara's here yep oh we have lost someone we lost uh, Jackie Jackie's not on here, is she? Okay, we'll take Jackie off. Yep. Thank you for joining us, Jackie, and for your questions. All right, so here's our... Okay, so what we're going to give away, I have got two tickets to give away to my How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity Workshop. Okay, now that is coming up on the 27th of August. So coming up 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Tickets are worth about 50 bucks, $47 plus booking fee. I have two tickets to that to give away. Plus I'm going to give away two 45-minute strategy sessions as well, media strategy sessions, direct one-on-one -on -one with me for free as well. So two 45-minute strategy sessions. So you can choose. You can pick from one or the other. So for the workshop or a strategy session with me, uh, you can pick out of that. So we've got four prizes there to give away. And anyone else who wants to give a prize away, you have to be on the live Zoom to win. Then you can unmute yourself and uh, promote your prize and we can do a draw. All right. So for either a ticket to the How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity Workshop or for a media strategy session, Tony, yay, congratulations. Tony. Tony. <laughs> Oh, no, that's okay. They're going to get a chance. We've got three more of those. Oh. Uh, unless you really don't want it, in which case I won't be offended. <laughs> you oh, can... no. Oh, no. I'm picking a 45-minute strategy session 45 with minute you. Strategy. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. 40, one 45-minute strategy session goes to Tony. Congratulations. All right. And now Thank you. The... You're welcome. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. It's been awesome tonight. Uh, and the next prize goes to Anne. So, Anne, you can choose either a ticket to the How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity Workshop, which is very intensive, a lot of details about how to get free publicity, or a 45-minute one-on-one strategy session with me. You can choose. Just unmute yourself. Let us know what you would like. Anne, you're still muted there. Uh, just unmute yourself there. Congratulations. Anne, let me see if I can... Unmute you. Ask to unmute. Here we go. Oh, and what would you like? She's thinking about it. And it's a, it's a tough one. The workshop or the strategy uh, session. Oh, there we are. Yep. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, I think the 45 minutes would be wonderful. Thank 45 you. minute strategy session. Congratulations. Thank awesome. You. So we've got media <laughs> consultation coming with you. Wonderful. And now for two tickets to the How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity Workshop. And if you already have uh, if you already have a ticket, Christiane, you've attended before, so you can either gift that to someone else or someone else can have a prize. If you don't know if you've attended the workshop before, Christiane, up to you on that one. Uh, just unmute yourself, Christiane. Unmute yourself for a ticket to the workshop. Uh, or if you'd like, Christiane, we could do give you a strategy session if you don't want the workshop. Up to you. 45 minute media strategy or workshop or media strategy media strategy okay awesome all right so media strategy 45 minutes to christian congratulations all right and one more one more either a ticket to the how to gain a million dollars worth of free publicity workshop 
or for a 45 minute media strategy session. So the workshop's 27th of August. Oh, you got I, it. I, won you got I won my own prize. Fantastic. I'm going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I how amazing my stuff is so it's all good all right so next okay so the, win the winner <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself right you yourself. all right and it goes to my business as well yay okay <laughs> i think i think this is going to click on it i've got to try with an image so let's draw again okay so this is for a workshop ticket or a media strategy session and anyone else who'd like to do a giveaway you can do a giveaway all right Jax, congratulations, you can have a workshop ticket or a media strategy session with me or, or a prize from someone else, if someone would like to donate. Just, I'd like oh, to. Oh, yeah. I, I can give a copy of my book. Okay, or you can choose a copy of Christian's book or you can choose Ranger Nick. Do you have a prize? Yeah, yeah, I can throw a curry your way if you want awesome. to do a curry so, and recipe. Yeah, curry. Okay, so Jack, so you can choose out of any of these prizes. We've got curry, we've got Christian's book. Tony, have you got a prize too? Well, I don't do strategy sessions, but I, I can do a, like a one-on-one -on -one call. A one one-on-one call. Okay, so Tony's yeah. offering a one-on-one -on -one call as well. Gee, there's lots of prizes coming in. Neil, do you have a prize there too? I can see you're unmuted. I can't. Am I unmuted? I'm oh, happy yeah. to give a, mm -hmm. a free consultation uh, if they've got some interest Wonderful. in. Okay. Well, we have more prizes than we have people left on this course. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, that's, that's four. That's four because Jack's, I've just taken Jack's off. So, Jack's, which would you like out of all those prizes? You get first oh, choice? I've forgotten. You have to tell me them again. Which one is it? Oh, okay. So, there's either with me, you've got a workshop ticket or you've got, which you're part of the Mass Media Mastery Program anyway, you get the workshop included or a 45 minute media strategy session with me or you get a one on one with Tony or you get a curry kit with um, Nick or with Christiane. You get a book or with Neil, you get a consultation. What sort of consultation is it, Neil, for you? Well, it can be either personal or on electrical base. It, it depends. Personal or electrical? Yeah. What's I mean, your... Come and rewire all my housing, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll certainly give you some guides on it. <laughs> oh, it's a tough one. I'm thinking Christian's book sounds very interesting, but so does Tony's. Oh, to decide. I'm not really sure. Um... Maybe toss a, toss a coin. Does anyone have <laughs> Sorry, I, oh, it's tough. I'm, I'll have to toss a coin between Tony and Christian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's a coin. Have you? I haven't got a coin on me. Can someone, has someone <laughs> got a coin? Can someone toss a coin? Anyone got a coin? All right. Oh, I don't got a coin one. near me. <laughs> <laughs> This is we're doing this on the fly here because I'm everyone, going to. everyone's a winner, baby. Everyone's a winner, baby. Oh, good. I've got your I've got your business card. Here we go. I'll toss it with. Oh, you toss my business card. Okay. Don't toss <laughs> it in get the your business. face, your cartoon face. It'll be Tony. If I get your real face, it will be Christian's book. Ready? Okay. okay. Ready. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Which face is it going to be? Hang on. It's still on the floor. It's still on the floor. It's your landed. cartoon face. The cartoon. So you've won. So it's Tony's. You've won. Tony's one yes. on one. Congratulations. Yes. All right. Excellent, Tony. Now Tara, uh, you are going to win something, and so is Ranger Nick, and so is Neil. So uh, let's see who wins the next prize out of what's remaining. Out of all those prizes, you can choose whichever one you like. Ranger Nick, congratulations. What would you like to choose out of all those prizes? Strategy session with me. Uh, workshop tickets included. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to learn how to read, so I might go with Christiane's book. Christiane's book, wonderful, fantastic. Well, maybe you'll get a French version too one day, which would be awesome, and then you can. Um... <laughs> You can you can master fine tune the uh, Ranger Nick in uh, French. I think that was not how it was said at all. But anyway, uh, you can yeah. you know fine tune the Ranger. Awesome. Okay, Christian's book goes to Ranger Nick. Congratulations. Next prize goes to well, we've got fifty percent <laughs> chance of uh, Neil or Tara winning. Now, Neil, obviously you don't want your own prize, so. <laughs> 
Overwhelm, which we talked about earlier today. Uh, healthy conversations with yourself, but probably not a whole one hour consultation with yourself. That could be a bit weird. Yeah. Um, although sometimes it's necessary. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. So you have a choice of you have a choice of a ticket to my how to gain a million dollars worth of free publicity workshop. You've got the curry kit with Ranger Nick, you can choose, or you have a 45 minute media strategy session with me. What would you like? Uh, when's your sessions on the workshop? Uh, August 27 is the workshop. Yeah. And it is, it is, there's, it's a very good workshop. A lot of people have gone straight out and got publicity after this workshop. I've run I'd them. I'd love in, to come up. I just need the date. Oh, August okay. 27. August 27. And it's 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 27th of August, Thursday. Oh, it's a Thursday. Yep. Uh, 29th of August. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll be in Brisbane, unfortunately. Is it in Brisbane? And it'll be on Zoom. It'll be online. And if you can't attend, you can have a recording if you'd like. So it's up to you if you'd like. I'd rather have the 45 minutes if that's available. 45 minute stra strategy session. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Neil has you. won a 45 minute media strategy session with me. Good choice there, Neil. Very nice. <laughs> and we have one final winner, Tara. Yay. We can't see your face there, Tara. Are you happy to show your face or are you in your PJs uh, there? There's something wrong with my camera at the moment. Oh, I can't. Ah, okay. It. Got it. Got um, it. Well, thank, thank you for joining us. And so I've already got a ticket for your workshop, so I'd love the 45 minute if that's okay with you, Alden. 45 minute media strategy session? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You could have that. What about Ranger Nick's curry kit? We haven't given that one away. Ranger okay. Nick, you have okay, I'll go with your curry kit. <laughs> uh, well, you could have. Well, <laughs> has everyone won a prize? Everyone's got something? Yes. Everyone's it's a winner, baby. Prize, old man. Neil has, has Neil got something? What's your prize? She could. A one hour consultation. It's too late. There's no one I'll do it the next time. Oh, I, no, sorry, I put it in your chat. And then I was, I was offering no, a one hour. Tara, you can have you can have a media consultation absolutely with me. Forty five minutes. No, no, no. I was offering a consultation as a prize, but we can do it the next ah, workshop. Well, we I put it in your private chat as an offer. Ah, wonderful. All right, we'll do it okay. in next. Next the next one. Soon. The next yeah. one. Next mass media tribe event. By the way, date for your diary. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's donated a prize. Now, if you have won thank a prize you. with someone, please reach out to them on private message or in Facebook. I'm going to be putting the photos up for tonight onto Facebook. I'll be tagging as many of you as possible. Hopefully we're friends, uh, officially friends on Facebook. Officially friends so I can tag you. If not, check out the Mass Media Tribe group where the photos will be for tonight. So our next Mass Media Tribe meetup, absolutely free, is going to be on the 3rd of September on zoom from 7 p.m now these initially were 7 to 9 p.m but we kept going over time so i thought we'll make it till 9 30 tonight uh now we've gone till 10 o'clock so maybe the next one will go till 10 30 and then uh, we might get it done by 11 so, <laughs> so it's it's it means that it's good content right we want to just stay on uh but anyway we will wrap up soon so it's it's on the topic is automate instagram for success and it's with nanny carolina Chasen, who's a very dear friend of mine in America. I met her in LA at a conference when we were allowed to travel. And uh, she is awesome when it comes to Instagram. In fact, she has spoken at one of these mass media tribe events before and she people loved it so much. They said, we want her back. So she's coming back. 3rd of September, 7 till 9, 30, 10, 11-ish. Uh, it'll end when it ends. Uh, 7 onwards, let's just say. 7 onwards, automate Instagram for success on the 3rd of September. Okay, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you can join us 3rd of September. And all the events of our upcoming events are all on Eventbrite. Make sure you follow Aldwin Alternate on Eventbrite. If you don't know how to spell my name, then just uh, Google it. <laughs> how Googleicious are you? How, what happens when people Google you? <laughs> Isn't Googleicious a cool word? Uh, so make sure you're following me on Eventbrite. That way you'll get all our upcoming events. Also in the Mass Media Tribe group under events are all our upcoming events. Always to register 
register on Eventbrite and you will be emailed the Zoom link, okay? So you must put your details in Eventbrite to get the Zoom link, okay? So if you get confused in that process, that's what you need to do. Make sure you go to the Eventbrite link, which is in the Facebook group. I know it's a, there's a lot of places to find us. So, uh, but Eventbrite, you will definitely get the Zoom link, okay? If you register there. So make sure you do that. Thank you so much, everyone, tonight. It's been such a wonderful evening. Uh, would anyone like to share, finally wrapping up, um, so any ahas, what you got out of tonight? Uh, anything finally you're grateful for before we uh, wrap up? Please unmute yourself. Yes, Jax. Oh, I'd like to thank Tony. That was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, thank you. It was nice meeting everyone as well. And even those that came late. Thank you. So next time you can get my prize. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I've got to go now, but yeah, really, <laughs> it was wonderful. Thank yes, you. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much. I was just going to say thank you. Thank you, everyone. I've probably got to go too. I've got a big day again tomorrow. Lots of shows. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, old one. And don't forget, reach out if you've got any questions. I'd love to tell you um, and answer anything you want. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everybody. We'll see you Bye. again on the next event, 3rd of September. See you then. Invite your friends. We'll have more giveaways. Everyone's a winner, baby. And keep speaking your truth. Keep sharing your amazing message. Shine bright and light up all those around you. You never know who you'll impact with your message. Thank you so much for joining us. Marilyn. Any questions, comments, please pop in the Facebook group. Save the chat if you haven't already. I'll keep the Zoom open if you haven't saved the chat on the live Zoom. And we'll pop some of those links into the Facebook group. Thank you so much. Good Bye. night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Hey, Neil, did you um, did you save the chat? Oh, I'm all good, thanks. I, I took notes. Chat? Okay, wonderful. All right. Thanks, old one, for a great oh, thank night. Thank you so much. Thanks for a great night. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. Well, I'm just about to share your uh, Facebook. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. That's wonderful. And I'll put those photos up and um, and reach out, and we'll make a time for our 45 minute strategy session. That'll be awesome. Okay. Media strategy okay. session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Night, all. Bye. Good night. Bye.